gentlemen, thank you so, so much for joining us on a fantastic day for gaming here at St. Clair College. It feels like that's every day, but today's a little bit special. We have the Counter-Strike Grand Finals for ECAC, and for Valorant, we have some CVAL lined up against University of Missouri. Our Counter-Strike players are playing against Fisher College. I'm going to be taking you through that journey today. I'm Daniil, also known as Barris McGee, also known as Brown by some players, and we're also, because my name is Daniil Brown, of course, and I'm going to be joined by Pat. Patrick here. Introduce yourself, my friend. Yeah, uh, you know, nice being on the desk potentially for the last time this semester. So, again, it's been an honor so far and an amazing year uh, just at the school in general. But we have some games that we got to get to as well. So, again, let's just talk about it right now. CS, I mean, the first time I was casting it last week, it was one of the most fun experiences ever. So, I just can't wait to see what the boys are going to bring out versus Fisher for that ECAC finals. And, of course, you know, Hybrid and the boys over on the Val, C Val side of things and that Northern, uh, northern semifinals mm -hmm. against Mizzou. You know, it's going to be interesting. They've kind of yet, I don't want to sound like too braggy and boasty, but they've kind of yet to been really, really challenged, it seems, whenever for at sure. least I've seen them. So, it's going to be interesting to see uh, what a semifinalist like Mizzou can kind of bring out, or if this is just going to be another kind of Saints varsity domination as we've kind of seen all season. Absolutely. From my knowledge, at least, maybe my information is outdated or maybe uh, I'm not caught up fully, but what I can recall, I feel like, and maybe this bracket's kind of backing me up here, I feel like Northwood's usually the team that really gives our Saints the most trouble. Um, but like you said, so far, they've been just dominant. A little too dominant. It's, it's kind of uncomfortable to watch sometimes, like how right easily they kind of win the games. And like I said, I don't want to sound bragg like bragging, but they really are just, just gotta give them. You just got to give them the credit where credit's due. I mean, they've just been absolutely flawless, pretty much, uh, mm -hmm. as close to that as you can get all season long. So, again, going to be interesting to see yeah. what the guys bring out on that side. And of like I said, with Northwood in that bracket, if the Saints win this one, and of course, if Northwood wins their game, then maybe we're going to see whether or not I was correct. Maybe Northwood is the team that gives the most trouble we'll just have to wait and see until that time comes but over on the counter-strike side of things we were just taking a look at some of the stats a little bit earlier saints are in ecac their current standings they're seven and one fisher is six and two now i'm sure that there's like uh there's like dqs and there's this there's that but overall you don't get to that placement without being a pretty damn impressive team right i mean last week was just kind of to show for it i mean we, we don't really got to go over too much of what we saw last week because we did it already but <laughs> what i will say yeah. is if we want to give a small little recap i mean there were just so many hero plays that the saints were making time and time so again i mean petra 1v3 college oh, on the very last you need to send it into map two right like i mean there are just so many different things that happened there that just shouldn't have and again that i just gotta tip my hat to the uh saints academy team on the cs side of things because they were just absolutely phenomenal yeah and speaking of absolutely phenomenal we have a little bit of a special treat lined up for you, ladies and gentlemen. One of the backbones of St. Clair College, as well as the Counter-Strike team. Come on in, buddy. Like, moving, 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 moving. Get, get closer. We have AP, Accusing Penguin, Logan Lockett, Nexus Staff of the Year, whatever you want to call it, but we're going to be talking to him, picking his brain, and see what he's got to say for us here today. How are you feeling, buddy? Hey, Daniel. I'm, I'm good here. I'm good here. <laughs> How are you guys? Oh, you know, we're doing good as always, but again, man, the everything's on you guys right now. How are you feeling, uh, Roka, before you get into the match? Um, I, we're feeling a bit nervous, I would say. Not really much practice uh, to begin with today. Um, mm. The weekend, we were all a bit busy going into it. <laughs> because uh, there was the Toronto land not too long ago that oh, yeah. one of our players went to. Um, but I guess it's against Fisher College, uh, which is one of the toughest competitions in the league right now. Uh, so it's a bit scary on them. I guess we'll see how they are. Uh, might be a full five series, I hope. Yeah, for sure. And now, you know, this team, personally, I might be a little bit biased, one of my favorites inside the game and outside. And I kind of wanted to pick your brain a little bit about what that team dynamic is. You know, players in games like this, team-based games, have roles inside the game, but they also have roles outside of the game. I kind of wanted to know what kind of roles you'd assign players based off of your current team dynamic outside of the game. What's, uh, what's everybody kind of known for on your team? Um... For for Miggy, Miggy just likes to troll around, uh, as you guys saw before. <laughs> yeah. Um, when he was uh, trying Fake to planting. plant the bomb. <laughs> yeah, we were just joking. Really, just um, Miggy's one of the jokesters there, um, and also like Petro. Petro is just one of the best aimers that I've seen on the team, uh, really in a long time. So like he won the the CS:GO or the CS2 trophy mm -hmm. um, not too long ago, which uh, player of the props year to him. Uh, and then like we have. Uh, uh, 
Riley, who's he's pretty good. He's just like a versatile player there, very flexible any any position that you want him to be. Uh, and then you have Josh, the CSGO coach, actually, which um, he's been in the team for over like two years now. So just longevity's sake, he he's really good wise, um, very good coach, and learning a lot from him as well. So. Yeah, it's always good to have a veteran on your side. I'm yeah. sure he kind of keeps you guys' energy contained <laughs> he and does. We organizes do. you. You seem yeah. to be like a, a very a very brotherly team, so sometimes you got to have older brother there to kind of keep everybody in line. I'm sure yeah. he fills that role for you guys very good. Patrick? Yeah, I was uh, just going to say, you know, we can dive into some in-game, you know, questions as we end it. But for now, let's just get into some fun stuff, you know. Uh, sure. Something I want to know, just personally, just from a personality standpoint, how the team kind of bonds. What's the dinner kind of looking like after a really good win versus just an absolutely choked loss? We haven't had many like choked losses, really. Um, the losses we've had are just uh, extremely close. Uh, we normally just, after a nice win, we just go outside in the front of the school, talk, see what's going on. Sometimes go back to Josh and I live together, uh, the coach, so we can sometimes go back to our place. Maybe like order baseball. Or, order pizza or just like do something <laughs> of that matter. Just bond as a group when uh, we do take the victories here and there. Mm. Yeah, and then what the second part? What what is the dinner looking like after you guys just get absolutely folded? Not much talking. Not <laughs> yeah, much talking. Very quiet. It's it's obviously just like talking to what we did wrong, how we can improve better. Um, and then obviously uh, Miggy likes to troll, so just a little bit of trolling uh, in there that Miggy does. Uh, does so, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, just another one uh, for sure, because you are graduating, obviously. So, you know, it's been awesome seeing you guys play and everything. Uh, what are some memories that you're going to remember always from your experience here at St. Clair? And then also, you know, just courtesy to Neil, what are, he wants to know, what are some things you'd also like to forget yeah. if, you, if you have any? You've been here for a long time. Yeah, um, I've been at the college for four years now with, like, St. Clair, I would say three and a half, four years. So I've been longevity sake there a while been on multiple teams, um, Counter-Strike to CSGO and Halo Infinite. Um, I don't know, it's, what I liked about us is just like the tight-knit family that the Saints have in general with all the teams and players and staff, and that's what I'll miss the most about it, um, and that's what I really might like the most as yeah, well. For sure, buddy. Thank you, Daniel. It's been a pleasure knowing you. We're going to miss you for sure. Uh, but, you know, before we send you off to hopefully win yourself a championship or, you know, go down trying your best, I know you have some personal connections with some of the players on the opponent team. I want to know if you have any messages for any of them who may be uh, seeing this. Um, yeah, I've lived with uh, two of the players uh, on on the team personally, and mm -hmm. a lot of them have been to the the, the, co the college here. Mm -hmm. um, I just wish Moz and Jackson deprive like the best of luck and best of luck, guys. See you guys uh, in, in the grounds. Yeah, Jackson, allegedly my cousin. Um, <laughs> we shared the last same last name, which he loves to remind me. So, of course, a lot of emotion going into this next game for the Counter-Strike team and for the college in general. It's exams week, so players are stressed, regular students are stressed, everybody's stressed. But tonight, hopefully we can alleviate some of that stress as we get into our first games for Valorant as well as Counter-Strike. I would love to thank you again, Logan. Thank you so much. AP, thank you so much. England. Appreciate it all. Thank you guys. And before we send it to a quick break, ladies and gentlemen, again, the one and only Logan Lockett accusing Penguin. Thank well, you guys. Sent to a quick break.
ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. As you can tell, I am very eager to get under board because we have our first game lined up, and that is going to be our Varsity Valorant team against University of Missouri. And the first map we're going to be playing on today is Split. As you can see, the Saints are uh, they're still deciding who they want to be playing. Instinct hovering over that fuse. Caillou, uh, I'm not sure if he wants to be playing that guy, but Seth already knows he wants to be playing Viper, a man after my own heart. Yeah, and I mean, uh, again, like we were touching on earlier, as we see Giza choosing into the Cypher Smiley, into the Omen, Seth into the Viper, Caillou into the Sky, and then Instinct finally selects his agent as well. It is going to be interesting to see how, again, uh, Mizzou kind of sets the tone if they do do that. I mean, you know, I do know for a fact that our St. Clair varsity team is a little... They have had struggles on pistol rounds before, so oh, yeah. again, um, if Mizzou's going to ever make a splash, it is going to be winning that pistol round, which then grants almost like a 90% conversion, second round conversion rate. So, you know, if they are going to make anything happen or make this competitive, th they need that 2-0 start for sure against this team. At least anyone would think. I might not know a lot about Valorant, but I definitely know that if there's one thing our team is not very good at, it is the pistol round. But honestly, I, I keep saying that, but it feels like I'm getting proven wrong more than I've been proven correct. I'll, I'll admit, that's just something that Owens told me like once, like weeks ago, right? That's, or months ago. That's probably changed by now. They probably got tired of being known as the team who's good at everything but pistols and probably been sweating it out. Can't say for sure, but we're going to find out in about seven seconds back. Right. Well, I mean, you would have to think that, you know, a coach that's been doing such a good job as Owen has this season would be obviously one of the key things that he'd probably break down. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. But here we go off to the races. And I mean, again, sort of a slow start. Both teams just trying to figure out holding the crosses, trying to see reading the other side. And now the aggressive engagement is going to come down. Seth has to drop down the zip line. Going to opt to go back up. The player on his right. Does he see it? No. And it is actually going to be Zila who finds the first two. So an amazing two shots from Zila to put the Saints down. Three to five. Man advantage going to Mizzou. And like I said, if they are going to make this game competitive, they need to jump out ahead. There's another two from Happy Rabbit. The third one just through the smoke. Can the last player be found? Happy Rabbit. I thought he was going to get the triple but it is going to be lobster who does come in for the headshot a clean round for mizzou and you got to think that they should be able to convert the second round barring a throw very clean indeed mizzou showing that they got a lot of life in them but saints there's still a lot of rounds left over to try to come back <laughs> it's literally the first round you know it'd be hard to draw any conclusions just from that alone but uh as we're heading to this next round as per usual it's just the way things work really if you lose your pistol round you lose the next round generally you just don't have the money to really buy much equipment but if the saints are able to pull through and kind of steal a victory out of this round they'll be in a very comfortable position going to the next right and oh, as we kind of pause, yeah. get set it seems that yeah there is a little bit of a pause there don't know if it's a tech pause or if it's just uh well probably is honestly yes. there's, there's not no the team's not burning a timeout oh and there's no way one would call a timeout <laughs> right, one round pistols. up and there'd also be the overlay up so there's no shot so just a little tech pause there and uh we'll hopefully get into the round and resume it soon but Again, good first round from Mizzou. Happy Rabbit with, uh, sorry, with the double as well as Zila. The double wall bang as well. Absolutely disgusting first play by Zila. And again, they're going to need on the side of Mizzou those momentum plays. They got to start off hot. I mean, honestly, Daniel, I don't think you could get off to a better start. I mean... Not really. I'm pretty sure it was a flawless, was it? I don't think a single kill got traded. I, I'm not maybe sure if one it was a flawless, but. To your point that you don't think you have a better start, you, you can't do like you either win a round or you lose it, right? Mm -hmm. So if you win the round, that's good. You lose the round. I'm just saying as bad. confidently as they looked while winning it. <laughs> okay. Like I don't know. It seemed like they were just kind of uh, you know feeling it just mm -hmm. throughout the first round. I know it's only one round, guys. Like Patrick, calm down a little bit. But again, every round matters here. Mm -hmm. I mean, this isn't just any game. This is your you know, Northeastern Sea Val, or sorry, Northern Sea Val semifinals. Every round counts, as, and every player has to kind of play it as if it's honestly their last. And that's if you want to even have a chance at getting into the winner's circle. So, again, all of these rounds matter, ladies and gentlemen, in Mizzou, off to a very strong start. Yeah, great. Uh, if, if I understand you correctly, what you're saying is that, you know, 
they lost this round, so Saints are most likely going to lose this game. That's exactly what you're saying, No, nope, right? that's not what I'm saying at all. But <laughs> what I am saying is that Mizzou definitely looked very confident. We'll see For sure. if they can carry that confidence into the next round. Smoke goes out. Just able to block the line of sight from oh, Caillou, seeing Saints. those three players rotating down below. Saints are rotating as well. They want to try to catch them off. Spike again, destroyed. Mizzou, they have the spike planted. This is Saints really they just want to get as as possible but instinct's not gonna have any role in that he's gonna be the first to go down gun left over he's uh, gonna go down as well but kai finding two on the entry zeth looking to get a couple of his own it's a 3v3 saints tied up in fact now it's a 3k from kaiyu no it's gonna be favored to the saints they just need to get two more and they're gonna be spraying through the smoke kaiyu takes up the fourth and the fifth we're gonna get an ace in round two patrick and now i want to tell you for sure you were might be a little bit wrong about what you were saying before well, listen, my friend <laughs> it looked so good it looked so good they had the spike planted everything was going their way they had the first pick you know Seth was peeking he was flashed and you all you thought it was all gonna go wrong and then all of a sudden Caillou from the depths and that's just kind of why he's the player of the year for this team he's oh, yeah. been in so many scenarios where he's just pulled them out able to find the picks at the end of the day sure you can have all the positioning you'd like but if you can't hit the head if you can't find the picks that matter I mean, you can't win a Valorant game with one person remaining on the other side unless we're talking about a time scenario with, with Spike. From the wise words of Coach Hybrid, um, Caillou kind of just showed up at tryouts randomly, just some random kids that he heard of. That he didn't even know St. Clair had a Valorant team. Came to trial and says, I don't really know much about this game. I'm good at it though. I don't know anything about comp. And now he's the best player on the team. Uh, so <laughs> you got to know for sure that Caillou is the heart, blood, and soul of this Valorant team. Of course, he's not the only member of it. As you can see, smile. Unfortunately, not going to be able to pick up the kill. I was kind of setting you up for that, my friend. But going to drop that one there. Caillou now to pick up anything here. But he's going to get kind of smoked out by those explosions. I don't really know if it's getting smoked out if things are going Oh, but a clean headshot coming up from Happy Rabbit. And then a follow-up kill on the instinct. It's going to be a 2v3 now. Saints now evening it up. Giza maybe trying to pick that up and make it a 2v1. But they're going to get collided. Lobster taking out the rest of the Saints. And now we're looking to be watching a real game of Valorant for once. Again, the thrifty round as well going down for Mizzou Esports. So, really good job so far to just make sure that it's just punch, counter punch. Mizzou Esports find their second round off the back of an insane collateral from Lobster. And uh, again, they're just, they're playing very consistent, uh, at least the uh, two players in Happy Rabbit and Lobster so far. So, you know, if there's any words of advice to tell the guys of Mizzou, just keep doing what you're doing. Just don't let rounds slip. Like, for example, that Caillou Ace. Honestly, Mizzou should be up right now, probably 3-0. So the fact that they let St. Clair get away with one, you know, you just can't let plays like that come back to bite you. Oh, my you. God. Trade's going all wild, but it is going to be St. Clair who go on the better end of it. Let me just be quiet, though, because, again, the trade does get picked out, okay? 1v1 scenario now, 30 health piggy realizes i think he has the comms that caillou could potentially be around the corner caillou going for the rotate 20 health himself so both players right now in a really dire situation it's now a minute left one on the side of mizzou has to try to make a play of course having to plant the spike so again caillou just trying to bait out the uh or so not bait out but predict the rotation of piggy and probably going to try to see where this plant goes down it will be on the beast site and now it seems like with Caillou rotating towards A he'll have to kind of get that intel that he has now fall back and it seems like he's going to go from mid down into B we'll see how this goes out again on sky has all that utility that, that she can now use to find that player locate them maybe get a stun in Caillou sees the crosshair on the player but it's not going to be the shot that lands peeking around the corner now has to be careful the concussion does come come out and now Caillou has to just try to see if he can maybe find a little bit of something on the spike maybe get it to half but I don't think the Mizzou player is gonna let him do it Piggy peeks the corner and he finds the headshot putting Caillou down in the clutch scenario Mizzou doing a really good job so far in this first half and they go up 3-1 very well done indeed, Patrick. I think Mizzou Esports might have heard our little pregame chat and are looking to prove us wrong. They want to give our Saints a run for our money and really let us know that there is more than one dominant team in Collegiate Valorant. Right now, Saints are looking down the barrel of 1-3, so a lot of rounds left, but 
one thing you were talking about before, and I definitely agree with, is when the team has the swagger, the confidence to just mosey on into a point or uh, just kind of casually winning rounds, that's how you know they're comfortable. And when a team is comfortable, they're winning. Mizo Esports kind of fully embodying that right now with their three-man split push over to A. They got two in mid trying to stop any rotation potentially. Smoke's going up on Heaven, making sure that nobody's going to be able to spy them down and pick them up before they can get their job done. But with Piggy planting, another smoke blocking the view planted. of Caillou. So he's not going to be able to get any kills. Saints are forced to rotate. They're forced to get into uncomfortable positions if they want to see anything valuable. But Piggy already waiting for the use of a Panda, getting behind Smiley. SF is going to avenge his fallen teammate, and Giza is going to be waiting. Peeking at the perfect time. We're spinning around the corner at the perfect time. Caillou's finding one, but he's getting traded out by Sila. Coming out, Giza's finally gonna go down to 2v3. Now it's just instinct remaining, and he's kind of stuck in no man's land, but he finds one at the very least. He's gonna get concussed before he can find a second, and that's gonna be the round for Mizzou. And this is if, again, don't, you know, get me wrong, this is the second time now that Missouri has been able to kind of get a plant down with over a minute remaining. They're doing a good job getting onto the site, engaging where they need to be engaging and winning their first opening gunfights. They have the man advantage. They can play slow then, but they choose not to. They're going to rush back in for a secondary engagement. They get the spike down again. And it's just a really good job on the side of Mizzou Esports. One thing that I do know when talking to Owen, uh, through or the coach, hybrid throughout the season is that St. Clair sometimes are a little bit of a mentally uh, oh, they are, they're yeah. a little bit of a mental team so again if the mental gets chalked it's very very hard to kind of pull themselves back out of it again they are one of the best teams if not the best team in collegiate for a reason so again it shouldn't you know you, you gotta hope the players aren't getting into their own heads too too much and a big person on the side of St. Clair that it can try to hopefully help them out of this is Smiley on oh, the side I knew the, the young Smiley. prodigy yeah yep. he has such a stone cold mental you have to hope that's going to help him out here yeah uh, they call him the little sunshine on that team i know so hopefully he's going to be able to shine bright like one Steph, he's going to throw that that poison cloud not quite going to connect seal is going to be able to they are knives are going to be pulled out however swinging around and they find no smiley says absolutely not but at the same time kai you get to go down as well lobster finding his way onto the high ground smiley is going to be not too far behind but with the kill shot coming out Rocket's gonna explode. And that's what we call splash damage, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Rabbit finds Giza, and now Instinct. Well, standing. I was about to say Ansef, but now it's just Instinct. Lobster with a 3K. It's just gonna be Instinct trying to pick up the remains. But coming from behind, in fact, not even gonna have the time to, as Piggy confronting him head on is gonna take him out first. Right, I mean, I'm just absolutely blown away right now with just how good Missouri has looked in these starters. Not saying that, of course, I didn't, you know, uh, of course, I didn't expect this, obviously, but I haven't watched. Missouri play uh, before obviously so you know my mistake Missouri I was not aware of your game my friend but now of course we do see that they've gotten off to a hard, hot start and again if you are Mizzou it's got to feel really really good right now that you have a team like St. Clair kind of in your grasp you kind of can sense the first map getting the first half to a close they have the advantage on that so again if you're coming off of a really strong defensive side it's going to be hard for St. Clair with only one round on their belt or sorry if you're coming off of a really strong attack it's going to be really hard for St. Clair to then go on their own attacks and make it mm. work so again I feel like it's these are really valuable rounds that St. Clair are letting slip by especially on the defensive side of things right so again you just got to tip the cap to Missouri they're doing a really good job right now of just they're confirming the rounds they're getting their trades they're always kind of coming out on top in the trade advantage Zila trades back the kill that Smiley got onto Happy Rabbit, and I mean, they're just doing a really good job so far, just trading that back. And I did that immediately because I wanted to cast or curse them, and I've done exactly just that. So, haha, -ha, Mizzou, you totally fell for it. You guys thought it was all cool and everything, but then the triple headshot comes out with the kill shot as well. And now St. Clair are back up on the board. I gotta say, Chambers, you learned fast, and uh, it took me a while to learn the art of uh, cast or cursing with intent. And uh, you're already doing it in your first year, you know, you, you got potential my friend already manipulating the
the scales of fate in your favor. So, like you said, Mizu, honestly, despite losing that round, they're still in a very good position. Uh, they have a lot of money at their disposal. The Saints are finally getting a taste of success. Hopefully, they're going to be able to maintain it through their actions coming into this next round. One thing I wanted to point out was in the, the oh, never mind, his instincts already getting a first kill on the Zila. But the way that Mizu plays the map, yeah. last round, it was very dense. They have very yes. dense pushes. So, if you see one member of Mizu in a spot, odds are you're seeing the rest of them around that corner. So, um, I think if the Saints are able to pick up on that fact, they might be able to utilize it. But Instinct behind two, lined up for a perfect flat, but no! No, not even kind of, one! Yeah, they peek through in the most awkward angle for him. Not gonna be able to make it work. A smiley, yeah, one on Happy Rabbit, Miggy, trading him out. Or Piggy, rather. Yeah, There's got Miggy on the CS team, we got Miggy on the FGC team. Listen, forgive my mistake, but don't forgive this kill from Caillou! And Lobster is gonna be falling to the clutches of the St. Clair Beast. Holding Ooh. mid now, but he's gonna find ahead of him. Panda is gonna be the one to come out of that unscathed. Giza is gonna be detecting the rest of Mizzou Esports. It's a 2v1, but he's got information on his side and knowing is half the battle. Right, I mean, Mizzou off the back of that are going to then do the smart move. They're gonna fall back, just make sure they can cover each other's crosses. You don't wanna give up two 1v1s here. Spike going down from Panda, and now Piggy should have the kill, and he does just there. Perfect angle, being able to just hold out finds the head of Giza and again like obviously I was saying reverse cast curse on everything in all seriousness all jokes aside Missouri are looking really really good for the first eight rounds obviously taking six on the attacking side as well you can't really ask for too too much better out of them especially when you're considering the team they're going up against in St. Clair but now let's switch it down to your playing field Daniil Betterson McGee we're going over oh, to the CS beautiful. side of things ECAC finals the boys have been working so so hard, and it is going to be Fisher, I believe, who do have the first round on them. I just want to say, by the way, uh, ladies and gentlemen who are watching the streams right now, exclamation mark streams in the chat should pull out the raw gameplay. So if you don't want to, if you don't want to listen to the commentary, you just want to cut to the raw gameplay. Exclamation mark streams in chat should pull that up for you. But now on the Counter Strike side of things, seems that Fisher is up 1-0 right now. Let's see if St. Clair can bounce back, find a round of their own. Right, they're going to be on ancient Aztec. Still not quite sure which one it's called, but they're going to be fighting for their lives. W Panda is gonna fall to Seth from that high ground. Giza is gonna be holding down that point like dear life. Coming out the corner, you might be able to see one, but it's gonna peak in. Smiley is gonna be the one to pick up the torch of exploration, discover a new continent over in that garage, and hopefully colonize Piggy and completely turn him into mush. He's the explorer for this team. Can he make a successful expedition? He's gonna be staying over on his continent for now though. Nice and cozy. Leave it as it is. Oh, he's getting wall banged. Hey, hey, they have intel on him too. We got maps too, buddy, but a flash is coming out, allowing Smiley to kind of get out of that, get out of there, as well as do a little bit of damage in the meantime. He's gonna be in a safe spot right seconds now. Left. With 30 seconds remaining, Mizzou Esports feeling a lot of pressure as the Saints not dropping a single member this round are looking to get their third game in. Right, and I was going to say, with the circumstances right now, I, I was just about to say, when I saw Nizzo's players pull back, I was just going to think, you know, probably just a good time to have a tactical timeout, just kind of talk with the team a little bit while you can without having to burn one, and also just to save, right? Obviously, save your weapons. So, again, good job uh, from Mizzo. They realize the situation is most likely unwinnable, and they are going to do just that. So, hopefully, whatever the team was just talking about, maybe they find it, get it together, and hope, uh, hopefully on the side of them, they find the 7-3. Not for us. Us, though we want the Saints to climb back into this thing oh yeah and so far you know it's gonna be a little bit slow but these rounds matter so third round on the board you got to see if you make it four let's see if we can make it four indeed as they're kind of Saints picking back up their momentum looking at their banks as well they definitely have the economic advantage over Mizzou right now um, of course that's gonna heavily depend on whether or not they win this round if Mizzou loses this one then they're gonna be forced into an eco in the next so that would basically be two points for the Saints if they win this one but they can't let that pressure get to their head they have to focus up lock in and just like instinct find the heads and they find happy rabbit instinct finding a second now Zila a third head for him. Ooh. Instinct was a sleeper this game, but he's woken up. He's ready to prove his power. But Caillou, not going to let him shine. He's going to be able to uh, just let W Panda get a little bit of shine. He's going to go down to but Seth ultimately going to put him down to win the round. Saints only losing one here. And now, like I said, Mizzou Esports is going to be forced into a little bit of an eco round. Actually, no, they're starting to get some rifles. Yep, they're uh, they're kind of a half buying, I'd say. You know, they got some SMGs, some rifles, and a couple pistols. But no, full buy, rather. And 
Now the Saints are in a really good, good position. Again, if they win this one, they're really going to be forcing the issue for Mizzou Esports, and uh, losing this would be very painful for them. Right, I mean, it's just what you need on the side of the Saints as this first half comes to a soon close within the next two rounds. you got to hope that St. Clair can kind of find the 6-6 half. Instinct looking to do just that as he finds the first pick onto Zila. Are the players aware of Happy Rabbit just kind of lurking through? Now, I don't think they are. The Omen going to reposition, though, and smiling. I believe he has just gotten away from Piggy there, so smart on him. But now it is going to be Kai and Smiley in this corner. They have to find the picks here. Happy Rabbit able to take down Giza as well. So again, Mizzou just being able to trade back that initial frag. They've been doing such a good job of it so far in this half. But it's going to be interesting to see if they can keep that up. Smiley has the eyes on one, able to just kind of see, maybe give it some intel to the rotation. Does he have it thought out? Yeah, kind of, but it seems like he's just kind of going to wait there. Two players in Caillou and Instinct going to be wrapping as well. The engagement does come through. Instinct trades back the kick, pick onto Caillou from Happy Rabbit. And so right now, St. Clair, they look pretty decent in a 3v3, but don't let me talk too soon. Smiley's going to start oh defusing, but Piggy's on for a heater, and he's going to find all three knocking him down like dominoes. <laughs> What a beautiful Last recovery coming from Middle East Sports. Again, this is anybody's game, but that might not be the case over on uh, the Counter-Strike side of things. As uh, Fisher College leading 4-0, the Saints are having a tough time on this first map. Again, Ancient Aztec, not entirely sure. Same concept altogether, but Saints are definitely wishing they're on a different map right now. Going down 4-0 against Fisher College is not a position you want to be in. And ladies and gentlemen, if you want to watch either of these games completely uninterrupted, you can go ahead and type exclamation mark in the chat as we head back into Valorant. It looks to be the case that Mizzo wants to Blinded. go for a mid push, and the Saints are looking to stop them from doing that. As we got three from each team, both holding this area down, smiley, taking down another smoke, just to make this a little bit more delayed. Everybody has to play patiently here. The first one to bring the line is going to suffer for it. Steph making his position known by firing through, but they're going to try to find out where his ghost was. He's not going to find him. TP is going to get put down. Smiley's going to take him out. Panda is going to be out of this fight. That's going to cause Mizzo to scatter, actually. Poison's they completely on. give up the mid fight, and they're going to be rotating over one to B. The rest are moving on over to A. Right, and I mean, on the side of St. Clair, they look pretty good right now. Again, I have Caster Cursed multiple times so far, so I don't want to be talking too, too much. Instinct has the crosshair, sees the player cross by LOS, but he's not going to find the pick. Seth now just kind of holding out into this hallway, believes that there might be a player that has an idea of where he is, might take the swing, and it is going to be Zila on the other side on that jet. Let's see who comes out here. It seems like the jet able to just realize where Seth is. So a good job of Seth to pull back and then also to have his teammate in Smiley, I believe on that omen, able to just kind of pull back and have the two on one. Now Piggy planting yet again. Mizzou has been so effective in getting the spike down. Now it's going to be a challenge to see if they can hold it. Caillou not looking to let them do so as he finds the first pick. Headshot onto Lobster. Instinct with yet another one onto Happy Rabbit. It's looking all St. Clair so far, but Piggy just not yet, he says. Caillou's able to find oh. Oh my Giza God. able to clean up as well. A beautiful retake for St. Clair. And they're going to be able to find the defuse off the back of some interesting team plays on a split rush. Split for a reason, you know. You gotta make some split rushes occasionally. But with the Saints victorious in that round, Switching they're gonna be sitting at a pretty comfortable 5-7. This game, I swear, I must say, it felt a lot more one-sided than it they currently is right now. There? So I'm sure the Saints will take any victory they can. And as we head into the pistol round of half two, I'm sure they're really planning out how they want to carve their own path to victory. And same for the Saints in the Counter Strike side of things. Saints looking down a bow and five against Fisher College. But it's not all doom and gloom. Rai coming to the MP9, hopefully finding a single one there, but no, doing a lot of damage, however, in the meantime. But over on behind, they're gonna be doing a lot of damage, but he's gonna get it taken out before he can cause too much lethal damage. Petro taking him out, but a grenade is gonna take down Miggy. Same here, and he's gonna make it 3-2, now 3-1! Beautiful plays by the Saints, 
beloved Opper, and it's just going to be one member left of Fisher College. But if we're looking at this score line and we're looking, uh, we're looking objectively, I'd say this doesn't mean it's over just yet. Rob, Robot Juso going to go for the plant over on B, and now it's Saints' time to really start to panic. Right, and I mean, it's looking like a good round so far, but again, it's not over just yet. The Saints have to convert here and find that a few, so it is going to be off the back of Andy, who is going to find the headshot, and now it should be all set in stone. So, a decent round from St. Clair, and again, we heard, we were talking to AP earlier, he said that they were looking a little bit nervous coming into this game, so, you know, it might just be a little bit of uh, those early game nerves, but again, Aztec, I don't really necessarily know if it's a Saints map or not, I do I believe, I would say so, especially because last time we were casting this, it came down to the bitter end, and uh, again, it wasn't a very favorable look at it when we did come through. So now, on the side of St. Clair Valor. I was going to say, does he have the clutch? No, not quite. Lobster able to find the headshot through the wall, and a clean round from Mizzou to find what I believe was their first round on the defense. I gotta say, I love seeing basically every coach involved in these games today in the chat. <laughs> I mean, of course, you know, no need to fret. A lot of delay going in, but we got Coach Hybrid. We got Gub. The academy team's not even playing today, but shout out to Gub. We got uh, Depriva or Deprive. Honestly, sorry, Jax. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name, but of course, um, from Fisher College, showing support for the respective teams in the chat. And like you said, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to show support for any of these teams playing their hearts out tonight, you can go ahead and type exclamation mark streams in the chat, and you can find the Fight link to watch eight. any of these games completely uninterrupted as we interrupt both right games. There. We're going to come back to Valorant. Happy Rabbit is going to find Instinct, and that's going to be another pickup. Caillou is going to go down with Giza, avenging his fallen teammate, IGL, and they're going to be left with the scraps of this round before they only got pistols to work for, but they're really making them sing. It's 2v1 now, but the Saints really fought their way through it, and Giza with the 3k, now it's a 1v1. This is workable. He only has 5 HP, but you find a headshot first, you don't really need it. Unfortunately, he is going to get sprayed down. It's 5 to 9 now, and the Saints are looking to make this an overtime, hopefully. I'm trying to make that work 5 to 9, but that's not really a regular shift. I thought it was 9 to 5 is what it is. Ah, forget it. Sometimes you get the wordplay, sometimes you forget it. But here, Fisher College, they have the bomb down over on the Counter-Strike side of things. I believe it's just one Saint remaining looking to get the defuse. That might be a 1v4 or 1v3 there, but it's just Miggy holding it down, trying to get the save on, because I know the Saints have been kind of struggling a little bit, so any as we come back into Valorant here, Smiley going to be watching down this garage in this spot. Ooh, Zelo's going to use that whole movement to their advantage, but Smiley's going to use his aim to his advantage, completely snapping on their head, taking them down. He's uh, looking to do this very much the same, but takes a little bit too long there. Going to take the kill eventually, but buying some time for Piggy to get the cleanup. Smiley taking down a bit Piggy as well. Going to be taking a little bit of damage, though. Smiley's not completely up to snuff there, taking a good amount of armor damage as well as health. It's just him and Kai remaining, but conversely, it's just two members of Mizzo left. Full healing up, we're going to go and see the Saints push over to A, but unfortunately for them, Mizzo has the exact same idea. Right, and it is going to be off the side of Lobster. He has the angle now, and he just has to be patient. Sees the Tasmanian Beast walking by, knows that the players will inevitably show through the angle. So the smoke goes down, Ooh. finds one onto, I believe, Spine Smiley, and now the second player has to peek out, and it is going to be off the back of the Mizzo uh, attacker, or sorry, the Mizzo defender, Anyone finds the final I pick. So 10-5 on the side of Mizzo, and you really just gotta say, like, that. They are playing absolutely out of their minds right now. They're, you know, this is playing amazing. They're going up against St. Clair College, who, like we were saying, is one of the, if not the best collegiate team right now uh, in the space. So, again, uh, on the side of Seaval, you know, I don't know how exactly those rankings match up, but right now, Mizzou Esports, I mean, they are killing it. 
they're doing a very good job. Definitely statistically for sure. Again, Saints, really a dominant team in the Collegiate Valorant space. So any success against them is to be applauded for sure. But they're not invincible. They're a team just like any other. But maybe the St. Clair College Counter-Strike team isn't a team like any other. As they're doing a great job recovering. Like you said, and like I said, and like AP said, they didn't get to do a lot of practice over the weekend. And maybe we're seeing the results of that kind of rear its head here. But what I'm really paying attention to is the fact that they're really getting their groove back. You can see that they're getting warmed up. If you go too long without playing Counter-Strike, for most normal people, I'm kind of the opposite, where the longer I go without playing, the, the better I get. Most people get worse <laughs> if they go a little bit too long without playing. But as you see, they're starting to land their headshots more. They're starting to land the kills. They're starting to land their utils. Everything is going their way. Unfortunately, they're going to lose Andy Lim too early. JVH next to fall. And it looks like a complete surrender of the B site from St. Clair College. But if they can get the rotations coming back in, Rai. Oh, the wall bang but almost getting wall banged himself. But right from behind, that's going to force Fisher College to just completely retreat out of the area. They don't want to mess with it. They don't know who's in there. They don't know uh, They don't know what's going on over there. They're just going to completely forget it because, hey, they already have the bomb down. It's going to be on the Saints to make something happen here. And I believe the Saints, what they want to make happen is they want to make... Uh, ooh, Rye, unfortunately, going to go down to the op shot from Alec. But... Petro going to get one before he gets taken down. And now it's just one Saint remaining. He's going to be able to find one, but not two, as the off shot from Alec is going to take him down. And that's going to be another round for Fisher College. The Saints, if they want to have a chance in this map, they're going to have to find the groove back a lot faster. Right. And again, like we were saying, you know, maybe this is just kind of a first map to kind of get the nerves out. If worst goes to, you know, if push comes to shove, if worst just continues to decline i will say that you know obviously in a best of five you have time in order to give a map up it's not the end mm. of the world obviously of course if it was best of three then you're immediately looking on a match point and then that gets a little bit stressful but the saints have time to work with here so again this might just kind of be a map if it's not one of their best ones to kind of just take a little bit of time to kind of figure out how fisher plays and maybe develop a game plan for your next map but on the side Ooh. of valorant it is going to be now who needs to try to climb back into it. However, Rai was doing such amazing work there with the Deagle, so you have to hope the round goes in St. Clair's favor. And maybe hoping the round goes in St. Clair's favor. Definitely hoping for that on the Valorant side of things. Instinct is going to find one with Baltimore. Happy Raps is going to find Giza on the approach. It's going to be a 2v2 with the Saints. Need to find their way to the point, but Happy Rap is going to take down Smiley. It's now just a one-man show. Smiley has to find two and try to get the spike down at the same time, but no. Saints are going to drop another round, and Mizzo is looking at game points. They're one away from Match taking point. it over the Saints, and go now the here. best Knock the Saints can hope for here is an overtime. Right, I mean, there's not much to be said right now. Uh, if you're instinct, that's just tough. One high, one low to the right. I mean, it's just not a preferable position. And again, being left in that 1v2 scenario, it's been a bunch of 1vxs that the Saints have just not been able to convert, and for good reason, because it's not favored to win those. So right now, Mizzo, I think that just speaks to how well, like I've said before, they've been trading out, and they find themselves, whenever they trade back hills, they find themselves on the winning side of it. So I think that's kind of a defining moment right now of this game so far. Are, but with Mizzo on match point, definitely something we don't see a lot of this season at all. Uh, so again, Ooh, Lobster making it sting. What? Can he find a second one? No, but Happy Rabbit trades back another on to Caillou. Zila with another as well. And again with a wall bang. Like I said earlier, Mizzo finding themselves on the winning side of the trades. And now in a 1v3, it's going to be very hard. Nigh impossible because Giza's is not going to be able to make it happen. Mizzo with an absolute amazing first map on split and they take the lead 1-0 in the race of the series. Absolutely showing that even Petro bleeding a little bit himself there after getting one kill. Oh, but trying to get the knife kill. A little too cocky. JVH is going to take down Frizzy and he's going to do it with style. But they are going to get the plant, however. It's going to be a 2v3 for the Saints. And oh, JVH is going to be the first to fall. But Angie's going to find Tatum, but he's going to go down himself on the AK shot wall bag, too. 2-9 to nine for the Saints right now, and they're one round away from the first half going over to the other switch, side switch, but they want to bring out all the stops here. They want to, it, it's a lot less scary going into your second half, 2-9, to nine, or 3-9 to nine, than it is 2-10. to ten. 
Right, and I mean, again, like I said, both of our Saints teams having a little bit of a struggling uh, map one for their respective series, but again, it might just be nerves heading into it. You never know, right? ECAC uh, finals, so again, to the St. Clair College uh, at CS team, this means so much. It's their entire season for ECAC, what they've worked up for, so... It's going to be interesting to see how it turns out. Rai with one to trade back oh as well, but it is going to be oh Alec finds one and two with a double headshot of the AK, just absolutely ripping St. Clair's heads to shreds. And now it is going to be the peak from Alec yet again, finds one onto Andy and Game able to find one back onto Rai. I mean, Fisher just looks so dominant right now. They look very dominant, Patrick, and dare I say, they are dominant. The Saints are really struggling. They kind of find their place in this game. They're looking down two to 10, and I don't know if they're gonna be able to recover here. I feel like, like I said, they are definitely getting more comfortable trying to find their footing, trying to make it work, but they might not have enough time to completely fulfill that transaction. And I think they might not be able to cash their check until the banks reopen. And today is Saturday. They're not going to have enough time to open, uh, to cash the check until Monday. What I'm saying is they're going to probably lose this map and they're not going to be able to completely recover until the next map. So and you can kind of see it. They can be the first of all. Rai is going to go down next. JB is finding one, but going down very quickly after. It's just Andy left. And the check needs to get cashed at some point. If the Saints aren't going to cash it, Fisher's going to do it for them. And their bank is open 24-7, baby. Right, I mean, Fisher just look absolutely lights out right now. They haven't really had many uh, flaws at all. We even just look at the kill board, obviously. I know that kills aren't everything when it comes down to every player on CS, but when your opera's going 11 and 11 and the rest of the team just can't, you know, seem to find anything off the back of it, it just speaks that it's probably not a good game so far. And uh, if we look on the other side of Fisher, I mean, I'm pretty sure if I was, correct me if I'm wrong on this, I'm pretty sure all but one player are positive by at least two kills. Game finding two of his own. The trade back from uh, JBH, or sorry, the trade before, but Rye with another one. Petro able to find a headshot onto Robot now, and St. Clair with the last two picks, able to find a little bit of something that they can hopefully muster up and work off of. A couple of these uh, players, though, I will say, on St. Clair, on very low health, as we do see Petro on 30. You would almost think that, all, honestly, one shot from anything might be enough to kind of do him in. So, again, St. Clair, they have to play very patient. They do find the trade, but again, Petro so low on health, won't matter. The headshot did it anyway. Alec finds two, I believe, unless that was the trade back. Now the 1v1 peeking around the corner. It is going to be Miggy to find the pick. And it's a perfectly executed 1v1 from Miggy. And a round that St. Clair so very desperately needed. That was a very scary situation to be in for both players. They both basically took it 50-50 and won or lost, depending on how you see it. Uh, whether or not there was going to be somebody waiting for them on the other side of that box. But... Petro shot first, he drew first, and gonna walk away with victory as a result. Now, 11 to three, the Saints getting their first round win in what feels like an eternity, but now Mickey accidentally torching his teammates there as they kinda pull up, but Andy's gonna find the kill nonetheless. Mickey soon to follow, hopefully, and some two scored are finding one. This is the Saints team that I recognize. They look activated, they look online, and they look ready to do anything is JBH takes down one, Miggy finding down a second here, and the Saints are going to be clearing a path over to his site to get the plant. They probably don't need the plant to win the round, but it's definitely nice money in their pocket as we're seeing Robot Juxo, just the last man standing, the Lone Ranger, with his trusty revolver. I know it's not the revolver, but let's pretend it is for a second to just make it thematically consistent. Okay, and he's going to fall down to those damn dirty bandits known as the Saints. Claire College Posse, and it's going to be another victory for the Saints. Yeehaw. <laughs> The yaw is everything there. Uh, no, what I will say, that was a beautiful round by St. Clair. And again, like you said, kind of showing uh, maybe getting into the server a little bit. Maybe they're kind of spreading their wings and able to take flight a little bit. You have to hope. So right now, St. Clair, so much work that needs to be done. 
But even going into that next map, say if this you know ends, there are a couple of rounds here where you can kind of look at and think, okay, if it comes down to a pl pure playstyle versus playstyle thing, mm. you kind of realize now, or at least you have to hope you realize that you know what Fisher has done so far on Aztec. You can kind of hope to think that you know maybe this is more of a playstyle thing. You know, you kind of feel at Fisher a little bit, read what they're doing, and hopefully by map two you can kind of get back at them a little bit. But again. You know, this game isn't necessarily over. It just looks pretty damn close. And right now, Fisher are definitely looking to put the final nail in the coffin. We'll see if they can get that job done. St. Clair looking to try to keep this miracle alive if they can find this first map. Hopefully, the Saints can find it with themselves. Stop doing whatever they're doing wrong and just start winning rounds. Of course, intentionally easier said than done. As you can already see, we should call it making the way through. But it's a shooting Whoa! alley for the Saints. Mowing them down. Everybody's getting some of the action there. That's it. Taking another round. It was the round to win, though. Of course, coming off of an eco loss into an eco loss is no surprise to anybody. But of course, Fisher it was College. the fashion. It was the fashion which they did it. I mean, Carnival. one, two, three, four, five. Count them up. I mean, honestly, that was an absolutely trouncing round from St. Clair College trouncing. there onto Fisher. So, again, a good job, but like we stated earlier, such a high mountain to climb. But, again, you got to take step one if you want to get to step two. So, step one taken. Now we just got to find more. So, right now, it's going to be... Hope one round away potentially from match points. So as the engagement comes through mid, it is going to be Robo with one. The trade's going back and forth. Seems like it is going to be even so far as St. Clair do have the final pick. Andy was able to make it work. And now can this player on Fisher find it? The plant does go down. And St. Clair just have to hopefully hold their crosses. I don't believe they're aware of the two players around the corner, though, in game. will pick off Andy. Now, down to Petro, player of the year for his team. Let's see if he can make plays like this for He is going to find the pick onto the first one. I believe just see the player cross his LOS onto the second. He needs to find the shot. Has the peak, but he's not going to find it. Alec with a beautiful play there, and he will be able to seal the deal for St. Clair as now Fisher College move up to match point. I don't remember if it was Petra or Andy who won Player of the Year, but in any case, he's definitely looking to earn it that round, but not quite going to go his way. Fisher now looking at match point, and you have to hope if you are on the Saints squad that you just do what has always been deemed impossible, and you just make that miracle run all the way to the tie and bring it through to the overtime. But when you get grounded back in reality and you look at your monitor and you realize you have to win this round or that's it. It's a chilling thought to you, Patrick, but hopefully not enough to freeze the hit of the Saints. In fact, quite the opposite, heating up JBH as well as the rest of the Saints. You need to smoke to anticipate that fire, but eventually going to go down. MP9 doing a lot of work in that alleyway. HE is going to come through, but not doing a lot to the HP. Frizzy trying to do the opposite, however, on to the Saints, we're pushing the way on to the point. Petro is going to be the one to kind of spray through wall bang. Four situation here. Saints gonna get the bomb down, however. They're gonna feel pretty comfortable with that, that they're in. Nice key. Now we're using zero. They're gonna be able to try to even it up trade for trade, but it's just JBH left, and he's not gonna be able to find that kill. So critical, and that's gonna be it. It's gonna be 13 to 5. Fisher College are gonna be able to take this game, and that's gonna be it. It's a clean retake on the side of Fisher. You honestly have to give them their props. They take map one, 13 to 5, in what I will say was probably not as close as a couple of those later rounds seemed, because on paper, it definitely did not look that way. Fisher had an amazing start, and they just didn't really s slow down. I mean, maybe a little bit towards the mid-game, but they seemed to find their footing, and they closed lights, or they turned off the lights on St. Clair when they needed to. They got the job done. So on to map two, we go with Fisher up 1-0, and right now, St. Clair need to try to find their first map as well. I believe they will find, yep, the pistol round. So, again, for a team that has had their pistol round struggles in map two, that will not be the case. They found the first one. Gotta hope that they can convert on the second round and hopefully have it 2-0 on Mizzou. For sure, and now we're looking into this next map. The Saints, unfortunately, dropping the first one to Mizzo. Hopefully, they're going to try to bring it back into this next one. And already starting off with pretty confident-looking gameplay. 
with the strats. Instinct's gonna find Piggy the moment he least suspected it. We're gonna see Smiley getting the plant off. Saint starting on attacking. This is an opportunity to get the momentum going and get them feeling comfortable, feeling confident. And they're gonna be spraying through that smoke there. They already the spike planted. It's uh, they're coming off of a win for the pistol round, so economically they're feeling comfortable. Yeah. They're just gonna put the initiative, put the ball in Mizzo Esports court and just leave it to them Not to really kind of figure it out. Right, I mean, they just have to hold their crosses. The flash does come out, but the shot will be found by Happy Rabbit. Now peeking across the corner. Can you find a second? No, not quite. Caillou able to find one on the side of the fade. Smiley with another, and it is just going to look all St. Clair for the rest of the round. They win on their attack. They find the success on the pistol conversion second round, and now they look to hopefully go up 3-0 and keep this round winning streak alive. Yeah, Saints, they, uh... They're meant to team for sure, and you can tell right now, maybe they're a little upset about how that first map went, right? And right uh, it kind of reflects in the gameplay here. I feel like they're playing, uh, they're playing like bullies right now. They're just, they're hitting hard, maybe a little harder right than they there. should. But you do whatever you got to do to get that victory, as the Saints Instinct. don't want to go down here. They've already come so far, but Instinct's not really going to have a choice right now. Going to get taken down like a, like a, like a clay pigeon. And, uh, <laughs> Cloud of dust in so now down, Smiley please. gonna be able to find Panda, gonna get found himself One after enemy a three game, four game for Happy Rapid, but Did after he goes down, it's gonna be Piggy cleaning up the scraps for his team, and now Mizzo Esports is gonna find their first round against the Saints on this map. Right, I mean, again, don't count Mizzo out. Obviously, ladies and gentlemen, they took the first map in dominant fashion. If you're just tuning in right now, I believe the final score was, I think, 13 to... Was, were both games actually 13 to 5, I think, on CS and Val? Maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I do think that uh, I think that uh, was how CS it was 13 to 3 or 2. No, 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 no. 13 to 5 was definitely CS. I don't remember what the first Valorant map was. Yeah, no, for sure. It was, it was, uh, it was, again, Fisher kind of slowed down a little more in the mid game, but again, it didn't pick back up. They closed the doors on Sinclair when they had to. But right now, none of that matters. The whole point is Mizzou won the first map in dominant fashion. So St. Clair have to kind of tighten the bootstraps here, get locked in, and try to take this second map. So right now, looking to do so, but looking to cancel that theory out is Happy Rabbit and Piggy, who have been dead. Definitely, at least to me, the top two players on Mizzou. It seems like they are just everywhere all at once to always find the kills. Multiple multi-kills coming out in multiple rounds for both of those players, respectively. So, it is going to be those two that Sinclair need to look to shut down, and so far they are not doing a very good job of that. And now Giza, the last one, never mind. I, every time I start hyping up the last man standing, they just die immediately. I, I, should, I should cut that out. Uh, Mizzou Esports tying the game now, 2-2. Two to two. Saints, they had a little bit of a moment in the sun there. They had a little bit of reprieve, but now reality is setting back in. And they have to remember that Mizzou Esports is not to be messed around with. It's going to be now Saints playing the eco side of things when they were in the opposite situation just a couple of rounds ago. It's not going to be comfortable with them for sure, but it's still anybody's game. Two to two. We're just going to have to wait and see how this one goes through, but Mizzou Esports, on paper at the very least, is going to be the favored one to win this round. However, Saints, with the rotation coming up now, want to try to take over mid. Generally speaking, that's how they seem to be taking this. They just want to play confidently. Seth finding the headshot through the wall bang. Very good and clean kill. Watching these entrances, watching these exits. They're covering all the zones of control. Hi, you finding a headshot. They're finding two. What a king. What a legend. And he's going to be seeing if he can find anybody else, any remnants, picking up that gun too, like it's his. Like he, like he dropped it on the ground and picked it back up. He didn't even hesitate. That thing was his all along. Going to be watching this doorway here. Getting the headshot around the corner. A slow and steady one. Right there. Won him the race, and it's going to be an open sight to plant on for the Saints. Piggy, last man standing for Mizzo. Going to be able to see if he can try to find an opening and at least cause a little bit of damage. Really down. But opportunity is not going to present itself very easily. In fact, it's going to find it, it hit away from him, but it showed his face once again. Seth is going to be able to get taken out. But Caillou is ultimately going to want to go down. 3K for him. No the Saints are now looking 
over Mizzou. They have first. courage. And again, you know, when things are looking grim, Caillou's always there to help you swim out of things. So again, he's going to find the 3K to find the round for St. Clair. And again, such an impact player. But right now, it definitely seems like the Saints are in a lot more of a competitive matchup right now in map two. Map one, like I was saying, was not going in the way of the Saints at all to start off. Things look just kind of a little bit weird to start out, and they didn't really get much better. So again, like I said, maybe the Saints just having some pre-game nerves. You never know, even though on this team it is really just five stone-cold killers throughout the season, but sure. you will see if they can let that notion stand up to bat. Instinct looking to do just that. He finds the first headshot onto Lobster, and a good I pick so far, not traded out from Mizzo, and that's honestly something that I can't say we've seen a whole lot of. Usually, so far, at least in the tail of the tape, it's been Mizzo with the beautiful trade backs, right and even sometimes getting ahead on those trades as well. So, again, St. Clair with an untraded pick, a rarity, and one they're going to hopefully look to hold on to. Hold on to it for dear life, but the Saints, they got uh, they got some tools to loosen the grip of Mizzou University. An entry finally to exactly Seth way. won't survive it, however. Slightly getting the plant, and with the ultimate uses, they're going to get standing. information as well to completely hold down this point. Happy round for last minute standing, but not for long. Smiley going to take him out, take this thing two to four, and force University of Missouri into potentially a in the uncomfortable eco round. They got some money to work with, and it looks to be the case that they're going to kind of buy here. Some stingers coming out, and sheriffs, but uh, oh, Vandal committed as well. The Saints definitely have the upper hand economically. Giza's the only one kind of in a precarious position with 50 credits remaining. He's definitely going to want to try to preserve his life here. Win or lose, you don't want to be the one that kind of hanging on by a thread. In any case now, going into this next round, I really wonder if Mizzou University has any idea what they want to try to do differently so far against the Saints. I feel like the way they've been playing their defense has been very calculated, very cold, but I want to see them take a little bit, a couple more risks here and there to catch the Saints off guard and make something beautiful happen. But with that being said, Mr. Piggy is going to fall, going to fall, followed by Piggy rather, Giza is going to take down two. Read a little bit too far into the future there, and it's going to be going the way of the Saints so far. Mizzou University going to be holding down one there. on each point here. No point in the middle, but you got to be watching it as if it is one. It lost such easy access to the other points. And now St. Clair College rotating over to A. They've committed for it. They've decided that this is where they want to go, and they're going to be slowly marching their way over this. 3v5 situation. Happy Rabbit is almost going to get kind of fought out there, but he gets some information. They know where he is. He has to but right run not for long, he's going to be able to, as he gets taken down, Smiley going to find Zila as well, it's just going to be Panda left, and it's looking to be under Right again, St. Clair, like I said, they had to tighten the bootstraps, they've done exactly just that, Smiley and Giza really showing out that round, so again, kudos to you two men right there, and St. Clair looking to go up 5-2, to two. it's literally yes. map one flipped on its head so we can probably sort of think that maybe this was st Clair's map pick as opposed to map one maybe that was mizzou's map pick but either way if that is whether that is or not the case the whole point is st Clair definitely looked like they're a lot more locked in map two hopefully they can carry that on through this next round it should be the attack now st Clair flooding into mid seems like they're going to look for a bunch of engagement Engagements coming down should happen any second now. Piggy able to take Spike the first down. one on Smiley. The ult used out by Instinct. Able to find oh one on the lobster. Shots going wild. Seth with one. Piggy trades back onto Instinct. And right now it's just kind of a game of trades as it ensues onto the 3v3. Things going to just kind of slow down a little bit now. Slow down indeed. I feel like the Saints kind of came in that one like a like a freight train. But now the tracks run out and Panda Giza's life is gonna run out right before. For him, one Caillou. Oh, spots him. Shoots a little bit too late, but Seth has got his back, taking it now. Six to two. The Saints. I remember one time. I, remember, I don't remember exactly who they're playing against, but I remember at the end of it, Coach Owen was just like, "I'm sorry." And I'm like, "What are you talking about?" I was like, "I made you guys stay longer than you needed to. Like, we shouldn't have even lost a single game." I feel like he kind of might have had that conversation with his team. 
uh, it, going into this game, I feel like, with all due respect, going to University of Missouri, um, I feel like the Saints feel like they shouldn't be losing this one. And taking a round down, taking a game, does a lot to you in a situation like that, especially a team of this caliber. It really kind of shakes some sense of them. It, it for, for better, for lack of a better term, it kind of hits them in the pride, and they don't like fear. that, and they want to do everything to kind of preserve that here. So I feel like that might have been a wake-up call for them, and I can definitely see that they're playing a lot better going to this next map, but I really wonder if they're going to be able to play well enough to really play against the strength that Mizo East is pulling forward. That's where you're seeing the, the intentional caster curse. Oh, you yes, Take notes, okay? Smiley oh. finding one in the air, and it's going to be a Battle of blood to the Five death, down, 2v2. Feet. Love these situations more than life itself. It's just you and your teammate. You guys have took plane rides together, train rides together, car rides right together, there. but can you win a round together? Smiley, see if he can do just that, but he's gonna find one. Kai is gonna find the man who took him down. Can you take him out once more? Yes, you can. That's for you, Steven. Taking that round, seven to two. The St. Clair College staff, they're looking like they have some life left in them. Well, the thing that I was going to say is it's going to be interesting to see because St. Clair, I, I don't want to necessarily call them a two-map team, but this entire season they have been a two-map team, right? So it's going to be interesting to see how they play if this does end up going to a third map. So that's going to be very interesting to me because when you think about it, Mizzou forcing the map three, it's not something that we've seen St. Clair have to go through mm. really at all this season so far. Uh, so I, again, or not usually, so again... I wonder how that's going to look. Is St. Clair going to be able to kind of keep this going in map three, or are they going to kind of run out of juice because they're not used to playing as long as they are going to be tonight for a long time? I feel like Valorant especially is a game of egos. You got young people playing that game, young impressionable people playing that game, and especially cocky people playing that game. So naturally when it comes to even at the highest level, the kind of ego, the attitude, everything really matters for these players. And like I said, I feel like the Saints kind of took a hit to their pride in game one, and they don't want to let that repeat going into game two. Um, I feel like that alone often is enough to kind of separate a winning team from a losing team. Can you really lock in when it matters and uh, really pull it through together with your squad to make sure you're getting the results you think you deserve? Coming in now, them. it's 7-2 to two and the Saints just have to make sure they maintain that power. But again, eSports, they've been such a dominant force going that game one and I really feel like you can't Cup just going out. will your way through that defense or offense That's coming from that team. So, despite all that talk about pride, the Saints still have a lot of work done to come out successful in this one. But Instinct doing quite a lot of it. Stopping the showstopper and walking through the smoke. Not going to be utilized here. That's a wasted ultimate. Smiley going to take down Piggy. Smiley going to get taken down by Zila. And Giza alongside Seth. Going to see if they can find anything, make it work. You know, use a little bit of util, try to find some info. Smoke as well. One now they're going to positions. Zila's going to be the last person alive. But not for long as Caillou finds that headshot, taking it 8-2. to two. Yeah, and I mean, again, it's just, you know, the intel goes out, and who's on the other end of the trigger? It's going to be the man, the myth, the legend, Caillou himself, to be able to put down the last couple of players on Mizzou. So, again, now, a very dominant map, too. St. Clair seems to answer back immediately, and again, I gotta give it to them. They have, they seem like they're unfazed so far by this map one loss. Uh, again, only time will tell as they head into map three. Oh, they're definitely decided, phased, but right. for sure, but if they continue with this amount of confidence and if they kind of uh, show this same sort of play style and they have the confidence to take these swings, get these trades, you know, they're probably talking a lot more than they were in map one now as well because their mental's up. So, again, if they can just kind of hold on the right side of the mental here, I'm going to go ahead and say it, I think they should have no problem taking this map three, but I don't want to take anything away from Mizzou because not too many teams have been able to push our Saints to three maps, let alone in map one, just how dominant it was on the side of Mizzou. So, definitely give them their credit. One of the best teams so far that we've seen our Saints go up against, uh, 
uh, at least for it, on the day. So, you know, on paper, yes, you know, if the Saints are better or not, the whole point is you got to give it to Mizzou for at least competing and coming out here, forcing a map three. Giza finding one spike landed now. Caillou with another. Trades go out. Lobster to find one. Giza with another onto Lobster with the headshot. And now St. Clair look to be in a 4v2 scenario. Mizzou, you have to make a play and you have to make it quick, but you have four Saints right now holding down their own cross angles. It is the player, the sound heard. Giza, the intel. Happy Rabbit finding one onto Caillou, and that's step one that, that Mizzou have to make in order to find step two, but will that happen? I don't know. Just barely missing the all oh my position. God. It's going to oh cost. my That's God. not only going to find one, but he's going to find two as well. It was so close for Mizzou to find that omen, but the reposition comes through, and Seth takes him out like the Grim Reaper he is. And now I feel like we've definitely been in a situation like this before in Counter-Strike, where I said it going up uh, three to nine is a lot less scary going down 10 to two. So as we approach the last round of this half, we're going to have to wait and see who is going to be coming out on top there. It's going to be five seconds until we start the round, but Seth getting into position, getting ready. Mizzou University looks like they're going to be doing quite an aggressive play mid. The smoke's going to come down, and the camera giving Giza a bit of a view, I believe. He's going to see one, going to see two. No, not going to get that second one, however. Lobster's going to take him out, there. and that's going to be an opening for Mizzo Esports to find their way over to A. They recognize the Saints probably rotating over there to want to try to put it off of that Caillou. Not gonna get hit by that splash. No. Seth is gonna get hit by Lobster, but not before he takes out Pinky Caillou. Waiting at the other end of the smoke, Lobster is gonna be retreating from the Panda, kinda turning his head instinctively to back. check the corner, but Caillou gonna be able to get it before he can swing his head back. Lobster taking instinct out. Last it's gonna be a 2v1 <laughs> momentarily as Caillou takes on Happy Rabbit. It's just gonna be lobster the spike is planted and the saints have full control here but that could kind of face your fear loose here also going to get committed forcing lobster wait finding caillou however Four. it's going to be a 1v1 he's on the tear can he find the ace oh that's Grenade. very true one away a lot of pride riding on this one but unfortunately he kind of took the meme a little too far bros don't fake a situation where you definitely wish you were switching and, sides uh, Saints are going to be looking up 10 to 2. I mean, I think that was just played so well by Smiley there, right? right? There. Not crumbling under the pressure. Ice cold, ice in his veins. He just kind of calms down, takes it patient, waits for the util to come out, goes for the swing, is able to kind of find the head immediately. Right no panic at all, making it look easy in a situation that was anything but. So, great job on the side of Smiley and St. Clair there, going up 10 to 2. It is looking so dominant right now. I really have a hard time right believing there. Mizu will be able to climb back into it. But, again, new half, so you do not know. Maybe Mizu takes this pistol round, is able to find one on St. Clair, gets the conversion, and all of a sudden you're looking at 10 to 4. So, again, St. Clair, if you can try to put this one away, you're going to want to do it very quickly as you want to get to map three as soon as possible with the tear that you're currently on. And they are on a tear indeed, but maybe it's time for Mizu to get on a tear themselves. Defense might not be the strongest on this map, but perhaps attack will be already finding a lot of kills here in this pistol round. Saints gonna be going down one by one. Not a single member of Mizzo falling quite yet. Happy Rabbit gonna be smiling after that one for sure. Caillou taking down Panda, however, that's gonna be no longer a flawless victory, but still a victory most likely nonetheless. Caillou's gonna be the next to fall and step shortly after as Lobster gets the killing blow. Saints are now looking three to 10 against Mizzo University and most likely four to 10 after this pistol round. Right, I mean, it's just tough because right now, St. Clair, it, just time and time again, I feel like, you know, yes, the first time this happened in the first half, they did find the pistol round of the conversion, but again, I, I believe in the other map, it was, it was they went 0-4 on pistol rounds, and now they're losing yet another one, so for sure, it's just tough, and the conversion's going to be hard to have happen, so... Again, St. Clair, you know, 10-4. to 4. They're in, still in a comfortable position with a good lead, but you just can't get too complacent. You want to try to finish things off right now. You don't want Mizzou to have anything to gain from the situation. And right now, they're looking to do just that. Happy Rabbit with the pistol of his own, even on the conversion round, finds two off the back for Mizzou. And now, it's the Saints in a very, very hard situation. The pip won't come through. Happy Rabbit finds a third. Lobster with one more. This should be all she wrote for this round. Lobster will be the one on the finish.
Punisher for Smiley. So again, like I said, like I predicted, mm. 10 to 4 now all of a sudden for Mizzou. <laughs> like I predicted. If you're St. Clair, you want to, as we predicted, as a team, we want to make sure that if we're sure. on St. Clair as a team, we can close this out because right now we've given Mizzou two rounds to work some momentum going into map three on potentially zeros, if you can't close it out. So it is going to be interesting. And again, like I said, or like we, like you just stated, Daniel, very dire round for St. Clair indeed. So we see that four out of five players are currently sitting at zero credits. Yeah, zero credits indeed. And uh, people usually raise a lot of zeros in a bank account, but when it's when those zeros when are spread out, when it's just singular, when it's one digit and it's a zero, it's not it's not looked up upon. When it's one bank account, a lot of zeros is good. But when it's spread out across your team, those are that's uh, we don't like those. Um, coming out in here. Now we're gonna see Seth kind of prepping up the a play wholly on the defense. Now Saints might need to be reminded that they're playing defense. They're really aggressive here. A lot of them playing very close to the entry of these points, but I think that's exactly where they want to be. Instinct holding down this line. He is by himself, however, uh, but Smiley's not too far behind. So once he most likely goes down here, he will at least have some reinforcements. But he's turning around just right at the perfect in. moment. This is the util, but a little bit of distraction drone is not gonna be able to, to uh, completely distract. He's still gonna get that kill onto Happy Rabbit. And he's gonna bounce his way out. So I said he's very likely to die, but not gonna be playing into the odds. Instinct now looking to see if he can get a follow-up kill, a second one, as they're still maintaining the pressure on A, Mizzo Esports. Right they don't want to give it up and they're gonna keep that pressure going. Smiley and Instinct, an unstoppable left. duo. Spike shooting down. gallery against Piggy. But Panda's gonna get a fine Instinct through the smoke. Smiley's gonna return the favor, however. It's gonna be two members left from Mizzo. Saints holding a nice and healthy four. Lobster kind of stuck in the area. If can find anybody, but Kai's gonna take this down for a couple of Lobster taking out Seth with a pistol. Left. 75 HP, down to 57, down to zero. Momentarily not quite, actually. The shoulder's gonna get found. Wall bank taking him down with a couple seconds remaining. He's not gonna win the round, but hopefully he can find a couple of kills to do so. But Caillou coming around that corner and take him down before he can make that a reality. Right now, St. Clair, one round away from match point. It's what you have to do, and now it seems like they finally get, well, definitely in a better spot economy-wise than when they were in last round. So economy's looking pretty even across the board. It's going to be interesting, but again, an almost must-win round right now for Mizzou if they want to force any hope of getting this to overtime. But they have, yet again, like we've been saying, a very common yeah. denominator so far for all of our matches. A very tall hill to climb. So again, it is going to be St. Clair one round away from match point. Let's see if they can get it done. And like you said, Patrick, Fire it's devil. still find you. It's, it's pretty comfortable for the Saints, but Mizzou Esports can We've still seen definitely. Things. Sorry? We've seen crazier things. We've seen crazier things. We've seen a lot of crazier things. We saw um, we saw one of our players almost kind of throw everything away no in the Counter Strike match last week. But Caillou finding two. He's not going to throw away anything right now. One of the crazier things I've seen one so far is this remains. guy's aim. is picked up a third. Panda going to be the one to put down that piece finally, but taken down himself eventually. Going to be a very clean round for the Saints. They're looking up. 4 to 12, and now Saints are going to be very com confident, very comfortable heading to this next round. Right, and again, like, you know, St. Clair doing a really, really good job right now on this second map. They're able to find this one going into map three. I have some high hopes with the rate that they've been moving at, the pacing, the tempo that they've been setting, that they will be able to get off to a hot start in map three, hopefully. But time can only tell. Again, they need to still find one more to get the job done. Hopefully, this will be the nail in the coffin. But that will be decided in all of about just over two minutes as we get into potentially our final round. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 1.35 on the clock, and let's see what goes down. Instinct able to find one on a happy rabbit. He's been on fire this entire game. Traded back, though, from Piggy. That is going to be Caillou down, so top record from St. Clair not going to find anything in this round. And now it looks like St. Clair is not going to find anything in general. The next two picks coming through. 4v2 situation for Mizzou. Make that 1v4, and it's not going to last any any longer as Piggy absolutely tears the Saints off, gives them all four picks, and now it is going to be Mizzou to try to climb back into things, and I will say, that is a round that is very crucial because going into map three now, if that does happen, 
the Zoo have a round that they can look back on to say, hey, we won a round not too long ago. We have the last three rounds won out of the past five. If they can maybe even just, even if the Saints win right here, regardless, the worst Mizzou can do is win three out of the last six. Not a good point, but the Saints definitely got stat by the picks there, but Instinct looking to not repeat the same mistake from the previous round. Zila's gonna go down to the showstopper. Maybe he was hoping to find some more, but he found one at the very least. Uh, definitely some, uh, some worse things could happen. Lobster creeping up through this alleyway, but coming up from behind are some ne'er-do-well Saints, but can he find them before they find him? That's gonna be answered here. A little bit of exchange of blows with guns. Giza is gonna come around that corner and put it down for sure. Panda finding two. It's gonna be Giza looking for some information. Panda gonna have to retreat, get out of there, get out of dodge before it's too late. Steph, they're hunting them down. It's like a, it's like a hunting trip. Piggy gonna use the ultimate to kind of separate and second up the Saints, but he's gonna go down eventually. Go. The spike is open, the spike is free. The Saints are gonna be looking very happy as they take down that round. That's gonna be five to thirteen in game two. And like I said, sometimes taking a hit to your pride is exactly what you need to kind of come back and focus up. Right, I mean, you just gotta hope on the CS side of things that it's going to be looking the exact same way. But for now, the Saints able to find their map to respect respectively, and you gotta hope that the guys on the side of Counter-Strike can do the exact same thing. But, when we come back to that, we will be getting into our third map in Valorant, potentially maybe our next map in Counter-Strike, but only time will tell, and we'll be tossing it to a short break before we get there.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Game 3 of Valorant. We have St. Clair College versus Mizzo University, and it is all on the line here. It is all to see who will ascend to glory beyond the heavens on Ascent. I am Daniil, also known as Better Smicky, also known as Brown, and I am joined by... Patrick Smoke Chambers, and we will see potentially... You know, again, the last game, uh, the the last game needed for well, not potentially, it is the last game needed for either mm. side as it is the decider. Mm. So, to go to the C Val Northern Finals, so it is going to be everything on the line here. And what better of a map to do it on than Ascent? So defender sided, but uh, as of late, at least when I was doing my matches in my classes, uh, you know, the, the teams we put together, it seemed like the attackers for some reason always kind of had the upper hand. But again, that wasn't C Val, so. You have no clue how this one's going to work out. Probably a little more on the defensive side, but only time will tell. Paper map to do it on as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, in 20 seconds, we'll be all ready to roll. But so far, let's kind of recap what we've seen. It's been a dominant first map from Mizzou that was then translated into a dominant map oh, so for dominant. St. Clair. So both times, no, it hasn't been really two competitive matches for the first two games because they were just kind of like one side rolled, the other side came back and rolled as well. So on this decider, it will be the first pick to come out from Instinct. And now the Saints marking up the kill board, hopefully. Pistol rounds do seem to be their kind of weakness, but right now they have the advantage. Smiley getting the plant down onto A, and now it will be St. Clair. They aware of the player on Heaven and Zila too now with Panda as well. Again, firing shots through the floor and Instinct trying to see if he can find a pick, but none will come there. So, are they aware? Is St. Clair aware of the flank coming through though from Mizzou? The smoke does go down from Seth, and now the player jumps down from Heaven straight down to Hell, able to find one onto Seth. Smiley Woo! trades back. Gizo, one headshot one through the wall. Ready. Caillou with another one onto Piggy. So consistent is this St. Clair team, and they look to open things up with a bang as they take the first pistol round. Swing like a man. He did swing like a man. I completely agree, but you know what? That was an incredible round from the Saints. A display that you you could only put on a canvas, but we got to watch it occur in real time, real live action. Saints leading up 1-0. I feel like when they're playing on attack, that's when they're in their comfort zone. They can just get the momentum going, start the boulder rolling down the hill strong, heavy, and fast. And I think that's exactly the way they want this to keep going. And they're most likely going to be taking this next one if we're going to be following the numbers game, Mizzou University not going to have the funds to really make things work, just like the yeah. average student, but they have to keep studying, they have to keep pushing through, if they want to even have a chance of passing their exams, just like Lobster studied Caillou's movement for the last 10 years to perfectly calculate the position he would be in this exact moment, and it pays off. Did the same for Instinct, did do the same for Smiley, but Smiley getting a double kill to avenge his team, taking a 3-3 right now, now, Seth with the plant, Happy Rabbit, most likely facing the gun barrel of Giza as he goes down as the smoke dissipates. Turret gonna get put down. Panda forced to sit and wait and watch, taking down the turret, but can you take down the Saints and get the defuse? That's what really matters. Eva with a dash ready. Can you make something beautiful happen here? Going down, dashing up, finding Seth, and it's gonna be an opening for Panda to come in as well, but Smiley coming from behind with the 3K. Panda is gonna go down. The Saints are gonna go up one more round against Mizzou University. As they should, I believe on Ascent, I was doing stats research on the map itself for any events in the past 90 days. The second round pistol conversion rate, again, the round we just saw, I believe is around 86% for the attacking side. Yeah, it's oh. if they win the first round, 86% uh, on the second round conversion from the pistol round. So gotcha. again, gotcha. St. Clair like, not looking very likely uh, to throw that round away, and they do not do so. They start off with a clean 2-0, but now such a big round to see if Mizzou can get into the swing of things. And only time will tell the engagement to come through soon. You would have to think Caillou able to spot the sights of one, but he has the smoke in hand, and he's going to be 
taken down, traded back know. out though, is going to be instinct onto Zila. So right now, as it stands, 4v4 scenario, timer going down, minute 21 left, the player sees the swings, trades going all the way of St. Clair as three for one, I'll take that any day. Giza to find another, Smiley with the plant, and it won't even matter because this one is over, and St. Clair take the 3-0. You can't just drop that on me, man. It's over! You, I, you know, I'm gonna have to think about an analogy for what that was like for me, but I'm also gonna think up a way for Mizzou University to really tie everything together here to recover from the beating they just received. I'll put it I'll put it bluntly. They took a lot of blunt force trauma in the last three rounds, but coming into round four, Giza holding the Odin, however, it could be thunderous applause raining from the audience of St. Clair College if they manage to make what I think they're gonna try to make work, work. But it's gonna be a little bit less easy as they predicted as nobody even on B site right now from Mizzou University. Making their way over now, however, with the drone coming through, a lot of distractions, a lot of openings, Giza is gonna find one, but Smiley, oh my god, Zilo with a quick spot. three. Smiley is gonna go down, but he's gonna be back up eventually. Nope, Mizzou University is gonna take them down fast enough, hard enough, and completely dominant enough to take that round away with alacrity from the Saints. That's why I'm saying myself. Zilo with two, I believe, third on the utility, and then finds another one. So, again, so far, Zilo doing a great job to find that round for Mizzou. They find themselves on the board, and now things are looking a little more competitive as now Mizzou can finally say they have a round on. So, now both sides, let's see who can take this fifth round. Such a good position to be in for St. Clair if they can go up 4-1, but if they throw the round and then go down, or not down, but only up by 3-2, this is a very big momentum-based mental round. Mm. To be up 4-1 or to be up 3-2 is such a big difference. So, again, it just looks like it. So, St. Clair, you have to hope that they can hold on here. Caillou able to shoot out the utility. It is going to be the smoke that comes through and it sets up instinct to take off Panda's life force. So it is going to be now Smiley peeking around the hall, but it isn't going to happen so far. The Saints kind of sitting in mid right now, looking like they might try to go for a take on to B as now the rotation is most likely to come in. But the cross angle is being held. You have to think that St. Clair are going to play this smart and methodical methodical, but right now only 45 seconds to do so starting now it is going to be the first one to swing through happy rabbit finds the first pick but has to vacate position immediately because two players let alone three were going down so now the smoke going down shots through the smoke the trace was found out smiley with a pick on to happy rabbit the util being shot out does lobster know about the positions right now of st Clair has to find two through the smoke it's not going to happen seth finds two piggity trade back but again seth is able to find the last pick on there the position from the omen it is going to be Giza to have the last peak on to Zila and he finds everything he wanted from that engagement Saints go up four to one and things are looking starting to look a little dire perhaps for Mizzou in this first half and things are looking radiant for the Saints right now. Going to be coming into this next round coming off the heels of a very strong victory in the previous Economically, Mizzou University, they've seen better days. This is a little bit of a recession that they're Time in at the moment, but St. Clair College, they're still going to have to fight Mizzou pretty hard in this round if they want to completely dominate it, because right now they have the opportunity to make a comeback happen, but Instinct is going to make that just one person less likely to make it to the promised land, as now the flashbang coming out, Smiley just trying to get an opening in for his team. They want to get through to A, they want to get through very fast. They already have uh, Caillou holding off on that corridor to make sure that nobody gets through to making their way out to heaven, and the site is going to get breached, but Caillou and Smiley are going to fall. Happy Rabbit once again with Arena doing great work, but eventually going to get caught out. Ghostbusters made their way in, and they're going to wait for that Spectre to reappear, and they're going to take her down. Seth is going to find Instinct as he peeks around that corner, but teleport through. Maybe no. He's going to keep it. He's going to hold One it. Giza is going to be looking down that angle, but Seth finds his third, and it's just going to be Panda with the Sheriff, but a scary Sheriff indeed. Now with the Stinger dropping from heaven, going from behind, but Seth is going to find that fourth and take that round very strong. 
Seth just doing an absolutely beautiful job on that omen through just kind of leading his team through that latter stage of the round. So a beautiful job now. And right now, three St. Clair Gunners on the side of Giza, Smiley, and Seth are looking absolutely nuclear to go absolutely nuclear throughout the rest of this game. Five to one now for St. Clair. They can smell victory. They can smell the finals. They do have a little more time to go there, obviously. And again, a half switch as well. So momentum could change. But right now, if you think about it, this is Ascent, a map that should be defender sided. So St. Clair being up five to one on the attack looks pretty damn good for them. So you have to hope they can continue this momentum, continue this tempo. Instinct's gonna look to do just that. Picks the head off of one, has traces on the second, and I believe he also knows the position of a third. So again, this will most likely just be known and held down, and now Caillou will advance through. I believe he is aware of the position of one smoke off for the other, but Lobster able to find the first pick. Happy Rabbit comes in from the side and finds another Giza with the trade back. Zila with the other one as well, but then Smiley gets Zila yet again. So now oh, no. Giza quick peeking across the angle, finds one onto Lobster. 70. These players so accurate, headshot after headshot, none of them miss for either side. But right now, Panda finds himself in a tough 1v2 scenario. It's going to be able to see if he can clutch this one out. Giza didn't see him, but I don't think he knows that he's still going to be playing very cautiously. I One thing I remember you said, Patrick, was this map is defender-sided, but I think Valorant is just mizo sided I think this team has the potential to defy the odds and left. really pull this one back. They're having a lot of success in this round, or not in this round, but... They've had success in this match where it matters. The Saints have been on a very good hot streak so far, but if Mizzou can find the opportunity to put that fire out, I think they'll be in a very good position to kind of steal this game away. They're looking down one to six, however, unfortunately, but St. Clair College showing what they're made of here. Mizzou University, I think once they have a chance to do the same, it'll be pretty scary for the Saints. And it's just so tough because especially when when Giza is popping off as he is right now, 10 mm. and 1, he is one of the hardest players to stop. When he is on, he is on, and there's not very much a lot of people in this collegiate space can do about it. You just gotta kinda hope that, you know, he whiffs a shot here or there, but when he's not doing that, again, like I said, one of the most dominant players in the collegiate scene. So right now, definitely the story and the initiator for St. Clair to get into these rounds, to get into these pick advantages. And right now, Caillou looking to stay there, but he's going to find a headshot, not in his favor from Piggy Lobster to find one on a Seth as well, but Smiley gets one trade back at least. But again, St. Clair with a man disadvantage to open up. Piggy waiting around that coin corner. Don't make an oink. That will reveal your position. They find him though. In fact, even going to be able to get that dart off. Turret coming through to make life a little bit more miserable. Gila with the dash ready, but going to be dashing his way to hell very briefly. Ultimate's going to get committed. It's going to completely discombobulate Instinct, but not kill him. He's still going to be ready to fire. He's still going to be a threat. Killjoy is going to come down. The Saints really want to push the issue remaining. here. Killjoy still down. He's going to buy a little bit of time for Instinct, but not enough is purchased. They don't have enough in the bank account to make it work. And the Saints are going to drop that round two to six now. And there's an esports, like I said, if they can douse the flames, then they can make it out of this inferno alive. Right, and again, an important round right now on the side of St. Clair. They are slightly at a little bit of an economy disadvantage, so it's going to be simple to see if Mizzou can find this round. This is going to be a, or Mizzou, it's going to be a very big round for them, especially just because to be down 6-3 to three and then 7-2, to two, like again, like I said, a very big momentum leading round. You can say that you're only down by half now, whereas if you're down 7-2, to two, I mean, you have three times the deficit to work your way out of, so just the difference of one round, mathematically speaking, looks a lot different on the board. Piggy looking to try to grab that third round, and so is Zila. Caillou finds a pick, but not able to find any more for his liking, as Missouri just absolutely guns down the rest of the Saints. I mean, there's not very much you can do there. That was just kind of a push gone wrong, and Missouri holding their crosses, holding their positions, not budging at all, proving that they are no pushovers. 
like I said, Patrick, we're coming into round 10, but it feels like we're in round three. I feel like this is where the game is really starting here. The Saints, sure, they had a very strong push, very strong kind of momentum lead at the start, but now they really have to start playing the game. They really have to start focusing, and they really have to make sure that they're on their A game if they want to really pull the victory through. Three to six, but it's still anybody's game, and Missouri is going to be the ones with the torch to bear. Saints are going to have nothing but sheriffs to work with this round, but they're still plenty dangerous. But Giza, not dangerous enough as Happy Rabbit finds him, and the Saints are able to find the spike. Right, and I mean, right now, I don't believe they are aware of Lobster's position. He's going to make them pay for it. Comes out from heaven, finds three to his liking. And right now, this is looking all Mizzou. Happy Rabbit to clean up the fourth. And boom, that is all Mizzou needed to take that round. It was an amazing lurk from the Omen, shooting the dead body. A little bit of BM right there from Mizzou. But honestly, in a position that the Omen was sitting in, they absolutely deserve it right now. Six to four is your score, and Mizzou was looking down the barrel of what was a six to one. They find three rounds in a row, and they have the momentum right now. They have the momentum, and in a game like this, momentum really, truly, honestly is everything. Saints, if they want to have a chance in this series, they're going to have to find success soon, and especially the Saints need to find success soon, because if they don't, that's when the mental bomb starts to get planted, and that bomb can't be diffused. So if they want to win this one, they're going to have to make sure that they keep a cool head and focus, but it seems that Mizzo has found that to be very easy. There's going to be a trade coming through, but it's still a very scary round for the Saints. Zila dropping even more. It's just one remaining. Instinct does find one. Zila trying to find the ace potentially. Can you get it? Not quite. Instinct is still on the run, but Zila running like their life depends on it. Instinct coming around that corner, finding it, making sure the ace doesn't occur, but he's still going to go down. Mizzo University taking another round. Last round right, I mean, right now, the Saints, you got to hope that, you know, again, six rounds on the attacking side of Ascent, not too shabby at all. However, you now have Mizzou that who's caught all the way back up. And right now, if they can find this round to tie things up, you got to think that's got to be kind of a mental slump for the Saints right now, giving up multiple rounds in a row that, you know, debatably, some of the of which that they probably should have won or at least done a little bit differently. So, again, if you're on the side of St. Clair, you wonder if they want to use that tactical timeout. I don't think so. I think they'll let the half switch happen, and I think they'll kind of test the waters and see how they defend on Ascent first for the first two rounds. But if things start to get ugly, I could definitely see the timeout coming out soon from the Saints. I think that, you know, just from a mental standpoint, honestly, it could be a good idea, but only time will tell. And a minute 13 is what's left to decide how this first half will end. Will it be the Saints 7-5? Will it be the split? It is going to be Lobster with one. Seth Caillou to find two onto the others in Panda and Lobster. And right now it's not looking very good if you're on the side of Mizzou, especially when St. Clair can revive Smile. So right now, it is going to be St. Clair with the man advantage. Mizzou have to find themselves back into this match if they want to take the half split split. And now Giza, Seth, and Instinct, they're all going to click on three different heads. Say no way, Jose. They take 7-5 on an attacking half on Ascent. And I think that was a massive round because it now leaves the Saints able to defend. And as long as they can just win five rounds of defense before Mizzou can climb back and take seven they'll be looking at a final spot in northern Seaval I gotta say I feel like it is a statement you're making when you take the final round off of a lost streak flawless in a round that's by all means pretty even economically abilities wise everything the Saints are looking very comfortable here coming into this next half, but that's just the thing. It's a new half entirely. The momentum kind of gets a loss, so they are, they did pretty well in the last round. It's going to be quite a challenge to make that translate over to a completely different side, a different strategy altogether, but Smiley retreating through the smoke is going to be able to find the headshot onto Zila to take him down, but 
Giza finding the return kill. Happy Rabbit going to be the next to go down. Two healthy agents on both teams. Going to be the only thing that stands between victory and a loss, potentially, for either of them. Two from Mizzou over on B. Wish I could have made B rhyme there, but just not possible. Unfortunately, St. Clair College holding down mid and A. They're not in the right position to B, but as soon as they hear that boop boop, they're going to know that they need to make a run over to B site. That's exactly what they're going to do. Coordinated, cold, and calculated. They're going to make their way over. Instinct on one end. They're going to have his teammate shortly following up on the other. But if they go through, Giza might be able to find a head before Instinct. As all, one of them's already peeking that corner. Smoke is going to go down. Makes it a little bit scary. But Giza finds a head through the wall. And Instinct as well finds his. It's going to be a very good one from the Saints. Taking it now, 5-8, to eight, winning the pistol round. So in more all likelihood, they're going to be looking at a 5-9 to uh, or, yeah, five to nine now after this one. See, presented with a 5-9 to nine opportunity now. If only it was 9-5, to five, then I could have made a, a work pun there. But I mean, you, I'll make you, it work you, somehow. You could just because of the fact that usually when, you know, announcers are, comment are uh, talking about game scores, it's usually the higher one first. So, I mean, oh, that's you true. Could, you could, yeah, you could I'm definitely have, you could have your 9-5 to five there, you know, you go, Daniil. But right now, it is not... 9-5 to five just yet. I believe again, like I said, the pistol conversion rate for the defensive side in Ascent is over 90%. So again, if St. Clair throw this round in the water, it is going to be a huge one mentally for Mizzou. So let's see how the guys in Missouri can bounce back. So it is going to be a very big round for them. If they can somehow find this win on this round, it's going to be incredible. But right now, Caillou looking like he wants to stop that. And I mean, when this man has a sniper in his hands, he might be one of the most lethal players, if not one of the, if not the most lethal player in the collegiate scene. So right now, we need to see how is Mizzou going to attack here? What are they thinking of? Seems like St. Clair just kind of holding the angles they need to so far. Maybe a B push is looking like it might be in the works, but again, the players are a little more stacked up towards A, so I believe now as we do see the two players from mid commit, it is going to be mostly an A push. So we do see now how this is going to potentially work out. First pick comes through. Seth's going to find the head of the KJ on Panda. Oh! And Caillou finds a collateral. What? And able to find Piggy and Zila. The last two drop. Caillou finds yet loud. another one, getting two kills with, sorry, three kills with two bullets, hitting two birds with one stone. He's able to get the job done. And St. Clair looking absolutely gorgeous in their nine to five lead. Yeah, nine to five. And they're gonna have to make this one work. Um, no vacation pay. I don't know, but they're going to be go. going into this next Seven. round here, optimistic, comfortable, and with five seconds until the action starts, it's Mizzou University. They're going to have at least everything tied up. Uh, in terms of the money side of things, they're going to be even, they're going to be able to buy things, and Saints are going to have to actually defend against well-armed insurgents. So they're going to have to make sure that they have everything focused up, locked Stop in for that. this round. Odin holding it down through. Shock Dart's going to be raining from the skies. It's like a different kind of rainstorm, lightning just spitting from the heavens. That kind of thing will make you believe in Zeus, if not Odin. But Mizzou is going to be making the rotation through mid over to the other side of B. They don't want to be pushing through that uh, little bit of a twisty turn corridor, but they still want to get their way over there. So just one waiting for him over there. I think that's Seth on that angle. But if they can just push through, if they can come around, they'll feel a little bit more comfortable making things work. Zila just above him. Seth with his hands held up. Not, but now he's only has got thankfully but instinct gonna get that dart out Seth is gonna find one now two piggy is gonna go down but gonna get taken down eventually instinct and smiley gonna be able to avenge those who killed him lobster creeping around just like Seth was moments ago it's a 4v1 he might want to just save if he can get anything through here this is a good spot to hold or at the very worst it's a good spot to die so he's going to be holding down lobsters. He's going to be trying to make sure he can hold on for dear life. I guess that's a good spot to die, but it's an even better spot to clutch out the round. You can hear the footsteps. Ten his seconds rooms. left. He has the discipline. He has no help, but speaking through that corner, Smiley, what is wrong with you? He had dreams. He had hopes. But they put him down. 
taking Aspirations, it. the lobster's aspirations will not happen right now. Smiley. <laughs> Is that a thing? Shutting it down. I don't know if lobsters are smart enough to have lobsters comprehensive can thought. Dream. But lobsters can dream. Sadly, they can't dream when they're dead. And Smiley's going to put an end to that one. You don't know that. Very dark turn, but right now, it is going to be Mizzou who need to turn it around if they want to get back into this matchup. They're down 10 to 5 now. St. Clair have looked absolutely insane since they've gone onto the defensive side of Ascent. And right now, Mizzou have to break the ice if they can. However, it feels like they're just kind of chipping away at it right now with a pencil because St. Clair is just kind of holding this down and they've not given up a single round. And it's been off the back of some very impressive shots from that man right there. Caillou able to put down the first of Mizzou and now it is going to be that much harder to break the ice. It is St. Clair looking very good, very dominant this entire half. They look to continue that right now. And again, Caillou, somebody please stop this man. They're already dead. There we go. Panda able to find one on to Smiley to trade back, but now the position known most likely of the three players. St. Clair looking to hold them down. Another shot from Caillou. He just can't be stopped right now. He is so lethal with that long range, and now he's going to find yet another on to Zelo. Are you kidding me? There's no way he gets the ace. I would have gone absolutely ballistic, but now the lobster. Can he dream again? 1v3 scenario. He needs to try to find it, but first First off, he has 30 seconds left. He needs to try to find a plant. He will elect to do so on A, most likely being able to hold from the hell position now. Knows of one's location onto having the drop comes down. It's right in front of him. An instinct will chop the lobster up in from the Odin. And now St. Clair with an 11 to 5 lead. A little bit of BM coming out as some revenge from previous BMs off of Mizzou. Revenge is best served cold. With and a right lobster now, side. It's with the lobster side. I'm gonna let that silence sit for a little bit. I want you to. I want you to know. I don't. I want you to know what you just said, my friend. But you know that was a good round. <laughs> Very good round. Lobster seems to be the uh, the pincher for the team. You know he pinches. He he clutches. We're done with the lobster puns. I just want to let you know, ladies and gentlemen. Not even puns. A little, a little ridiculous here with the lobster lines. We gotta we gotta chill a little bit. But Why? right now, Why? Saint Clair. Well, just because Saint Clair, we can't talk about lobsters right now. We gotta talk about the fact that Saint Clair are a round away from going on to match point series point True. in order to go to the finals Mizzou now have to put everything any pocket strats you have you yes. have to bring it out here any little thing that you could tell your players you know or again the players could be talking to each other they need to let it oh, be known God. they need to make a change oh, God. and Zila and Happy Rabbit are looking to do just that getting revenge for their lobster friend that I know I wouldn't said I wouldn't be talking about I'm for the past through. two rounds he's been done dirty a little bit but so far Mizzou are able to find the change needed Spike Planted and now the pressure shifts to st. Clair lobster roaming around on the omen I believe Giza is found out the calls being made But he will find one on to Zila making his way through the smoke Don't believe he's aware of the player to his right and when he emerges that should be all she wrote Giza going down now from piggy the shot from Caillou not able to hit and now he needs to reposition not able to find the drag at all If you're Caillou and you have the op right now try to see maybe if you can find a quick kill there it is the Slight over the extension from the peak. Oh! Big scope as well. Caillou able to find one. There's no shot you find this lot, this next kill. But even then, it will be too little, too late regardless. However, good job from Caillou to make quite an impressive play. Lobster. <laughs> Lobster. Uh, you know what, Patrick? You know I'm what being shut down here. We're not done with the lobster calls. You know what happens if you kill a lobster without boiling at first? What happens? It's poisonous. So I think the Saints might have eaten their meal before it was completely <laughs> like, ready. Well, okay. And they're going to be uh, <laughs> feeling the aftermath of an unprepared meal. And they're going to be dropping some rounds as a result. He's pinching and clutch. You know, lobsters are very good at clutching as well. Um, not going to clutch that round there. It was really kind of... <laughs> <laughs> in a weird way cheering for the guy to kill Caillou, but when you try to hunt down Caillou, it very seldom goes well. Just like you see Piggy trying to make his way into the point. Giza taking out Zila. Giza
he's uh, gonna go down as well. Kai falling too. It's just Seth on heaven here, but Smiley's gonna be following up very shortly. Lobster watching the heavens. He's got his dreams held high, hoping he can take this through. But Smiley peeking around that corner, but he's gonna get found. He's gonna take down Happy Rabbit. Smiling ear to ear after that one for sure. Instinct with the Odin holding up from the heavens, throwing down thunderbolts like Zeus from the sky. Can you find a single mortal to smite? Not quite. One comes from behind, but he takes him down. Takes him to Olympus. Takes him to Sovngarde. And we're gonna be going to match Thanks. point. Instinct leading the charge into the heavens. And we're gonna be seeing whether or not the lobster can clutch the next one. Or if another brave soldier on the side of Mizzou University can take nice. it through. It's a good day to die for democracy. So you might as well go down swinging if you're on Mizzou. Right, I mean, right now, match point, series point, season point, potentially, that Mizzou could be looking at. This might be their last round, ladies and gentlemen. So everything they've worked up for, they need to make it count here. Have to go absolutely flawless to get the 12-12 OT conf confirmation. And even then, that's just to put it into OT. So, again, it just this has to be so tough right now for Mizzou. Giza making it hopefully tougher for them, but he's oh, going to get no. every piece of utility in the game thrown at him, and he's going to find his demise at the hands of Zila and Mizzou, who are making this beautiful A push, but now Caillou on the jet. Let's see what he can do with the alt in hand. Does he know about the position of Zila? Is going to Oh my god! Zila as well! Can he find the third? No, not quite. Gets shut down by Panda, but a beautiful attempt, and now St. Clair rotating. The Omen repositioning. 3v3 spike planted scenario. Piggy throwing the util out there, trying to find the flash. Has around the corner. Lobster able to get rid of the clone, but Seth able to get Piggy as well. It will now be St. Clair who have to try to find in the 1v2 scenario. As I believe now, as the confirmation of the pick goes through, there's oh my! And the lobster will be able to find the clutch. As you were saying, pinches St. Clair, and they're going to be able to stay alive, keep their season alive, as they are now down 7-12. to 12. Lobster, 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 look what we have here. That's a detective uh, talking to a lobster who's the prime suspect of a crime. You know, the, the, the world we're living in is a crazy one. I wouldn't be surprised if that's happened at least once, but as we're heading into this next round, Mizzou University, Mizzou, I keep saying Mizzou, Mizzou University, they're trying to clutch strong and Lobster being the jaws, of, actually no, the claws of hope and gonna be snatching that one away from the snakes, the snakes, Giza taking down Zila, Happy Rabbit's gonna be the next to fall, Giza doing such a great job Holding this down the site deal. right now. Mid is going to be a very hot spot as well. Instinct watching it as Panda getting ready to make the peak. But B or A is going to be also a very vital spot to watch. Instinct is going to take down Panda as he makes his way through mid. Peaking at a very scary spot. Lobster is going to be one of the last men standing. But Caillou almost getting that op shot off on him. And I got to remember, I just remember the insane plays that Caillou made in the previous round. Making another one. Taking down Lobster. Potentially taking the game as Caillou already calling GG in the previous round. He was That's like, it. That's it? Oh, she A flawless runs. victory. A very good game. That was incredible. One of those rounds, Caillou was playing so well. Even the opponent team in chat was praising him. You can't take that away from the guy, but I will anyways, as we have Patrick. Maybe you didn't know, but we have Counter-Strike back in action on it. Map 3, Fisher College is leading against the Saints. We are 4-0 and down against Fisher College, but we are on Vertigo, so maybe the dizzying heights can provide the Saints an advantage they need to find their way back into this series in this best of five. And before we get to far into this game here. I want to see if the Saints have the fighting spirit left in them. Mickey and Petra holding up a ramp. Going to go down, but not going to be able to get the conversion. Robot is going to be on this site comfortably. Nade is not going to find him, but perhaps the creeping shot will find his way up. No, Andy's going to find Alec. Turning the corner. He, oh, but Tatum finds him instead. 
almost going down himself, but with the clever footwork is able to kind of groove his way out of trouble. Gonna see now if he can find his way onto the site comfortably. JBH ADR of zero. Things are not looking good. The smoke is gonna go down, but the bomb is as well. Rai spraying for his life, but he's not gonna find Robot doing some ninja tactics, fighting his way behind him. JBH with a sliver of HP, but JBH finds him. Gonna get found himself very shortly. 5-0 and oh, this game so far for Fisher College. What an excellent display so far. And no, Gub, you're my goat. <laughs> right, I mean, shout out to Gub in the chat, obviously. You know, Gub, me and you are like, we love Daniil Betterson McGee. So we love Chambers. Again, you know, <laughs> what I will say so far is that looking onto the CSGO side of things, it seems like St. Clair right now, they're down and they're almost out. They're down two maps right now. They need the absolute craziest reverse sweep to happen. And I mean, Daniil, if it means that we have to stay here a lot longer than we thought we were initially I having to, it no means to a reverse sweep in CS, I'm all here for it. Frizzy not looking like he wants to see that at all as he guns down Andy. And right now, Fisher College off to a hot start. And it's a start nonetheless. Sometimes when it comes to accomplishing anything, all that matters is starting. It doesn't matter what that start looks like as long as you do it. I think the Saints might be living by those words as he peeks around the corner after getting flashed. He finds two JVH punching an opening through mid and giving his team a hope, a chance to flee their way onto the site and turn this into a productive operation. As the instant goes down, just barely missing and that Molotov almost killing him. Smoke's gonna dissipate, CS2 feature utilize as the bomb goes down 40 seconds until they go boom. Frizzy is with that op, seeing if he can get anything nasty with it. Tossing the flash to his teammate. Another CS2 feature being utilized. We love to see that one. Coming out the corner finds Rai. JBH behind that box. Gonna this be the second to die. Man. And we're gonna get one more Sane around that corner. Mickey, you're my guy. Make this work. Make this happen. Yes, he does. He finds the one kill necessary. Smoke's gonna go down. He's gonna go for the defuse. And it's gonna be huge. Go Mickey, go don't wait. He does it. He comes around. He takes him out. And that's gonna be the first round for the Saints. Taking this one to be 5-1. Just before the bomb goes off, Mickey gets extracted and put onto the next building. Right, and I mean, you know, a huge play there from Miggy gets the Saints finally on the board, and I mean, like, you know, it's got to happen, right, eventually. That's got to be step one. So, right now, it is going to be on the side of the Saints to try to make something work. What can they do building off of the momentum? Only time will tell. Let's see how this round goes. Frag being thrown out by Alex. He's been so consistent so far. Molly going down, and it's going to start burning game. And now on the ramp, duels ensuing, but on the other side of the map, Alex on 11 health, able to find the pick on a ride, but the frag grenade from Andy goes out, trade going back right now, Robot finding two with the dual wheel pistols, can he get the third of the stairs? No, Miggy with the headshot, puts the man down. Oh, going across the corner, it is going to be found. Game able to put down JBH, and right now, Miggy in a similar position, will not be able to find the win this time, as Tatum takes the head off of him. Oh, oi, oi, oi. You really, I really thought something was going to happen there. Unfortunately, the Saints aren't going to be able to take it all the way. They still have a couple of dollars in their hands to shake around, maybe try to buy a little treat. But for now, they're just going to go for a nice, you know, filling meal. Might not be the best, but it's filling with the Deagles. They're going to try to play probably aggressive in this round, see what they can find with these Deagles in hand. Saints are pretty devastating with those guns and pretty confident with them, too. But JBH gonna be the first to go down and not gonna even have a chance to shine. But with that flick, Rai finding the body of his opponent up on those rafters. But Mickey finding one with the AK. He's gonna be the only one with a real gun this on his team so far. It's gonna be dropped right in front of Petro, but he's gonna fall shortly after to the op from Tatum. It's gonna be another one for the Fisher College squad. Saints. Playing slow, Robot holding down B while the Saints are trying to get a good hold of what's going on over here. Deagle is going to be very potent in this range, but not potent enough as the Famas comes around with Frizzy and Alex finds his Dandy taking him down. We're 7 1. The Saints really need to look deep within themselves and unlock their sane power. Get a Zenkai boost. They've got two Zenkai boosts so far, Patrick. They should be super Saiyans by now, but right now, it feels like they're looking a little Krillin y. I don't like it. 
the, the D, <laughs> just, <laughs> the Dragon Ball quotes are crazy. But what I will say right now is what is looking crazy is Fisher College. These guys are looking absolutely sure. insane. I mean, when Tatum has an op in his hands right now, he looks absolutely unstoppable. Funny, I believe it was three picks from that ramp alone. I think so. so Again, St. Clair, you need to get the op out of that man's hand. Rush the rush. You need to stop everything going in Fisher's way. The rush going through. Fizzy finds one with game with the assist. Game finds one for his liking as well on Miggy Rye with one. But it's looking all the side of game. Is he's going to pick up the triple kill from the elevated position? And now it's all left to Andy in a 1v4 scenario. Not looking very likely, but again, if it's anyone who's going to be able to get it done... We've seen some crazy stuff happen. It's just the position is just so unfavorable for him. You have to wonder how many swings it's going to have to take, how many angles. He has to look in the perfect position every time. The player coming across, he's not even going to find the shot. He's going to be flanked by game who dropped down under and was able to get the backstab. So again, right now, Fisher College looking so dominant and that rush just did not pan out for St. Clair. I feel I feel like what really kind of did the Saints in that round was they were so focused on getting the util off on that on those sandbags or cement blocks, whatever you want to call them, okay? The thing in the corner, they were throwing all their nades, all their util there, and as they were doing that, just swings coming off from Fisher College, mowing them down. They don't even have a chance to fight back, let alone fight back accurately and fight back with headshots, you know? You're disgusting. I mean, that's another op kill, and now... Oh, what? Going back to back. I mean, close range, it doesn't matter. Miggy, that's your head gone. I mean... Tatum is just absolutely disgusting right now with this off. They need to try to find a solution. But St. Clair, they're struggling just to find the round alone. They can't worry about it right now. JBH with one, with Let's two! Go. He finds the second one as well with the headshot. But still, such a small oh my cloud God. And climb. And with all those, oh, just MPC. all that pressure, the call being thrown out, the grenade being thrown out. It will spell the demise for JBH, and it will spell the demise for St. Clair College in that 10th round. Fisher going up 9-1 to one in an absolutely dominant performance. Tatum 16-2. and two. Somebody just kill this man, please. <laughs> <laughs> just to be sure, yes, we really need to focus on taking down Tatum in-game. He is a huge threat so far. 16-2, and two, I believe that was the scoreline, and Rye the rest of the Saints, they're making the rush push once again up the ramp. Fire's gonna go down, but Petro is gonna make games go down. Tatum's gonna make sure Petro goes down. Mac 10 in hand, gonna get sprayed down. Tatum, smoke shots, gonna put him over. It's just a scrap for success. Trying to strive to survive. Knife in hand, wheeling it through. JBH, but no, Frizzy is gonna take down Andy, and that's gonna be 10 to one so far. Well, I mean, you can sort of tell with the momentum right now, it's looking like St. Clair's season in this ECAC Finals is coming to an end very shortly. However, we will see if they can get anything going somewhat. It seems like right now, though, it's just such a hard team to dispose of. Everyone on the side of Fisher is going positive by, I believe, at least four kills right now. I mean, Tatum's, what, 18-3, and three, I believe, was the scoreline that we saw? I mean, Game and Tatum right now, two ops in hand. They're making it look easy. Tatum finally dies due to some utility from JBH. And now this ramp rush seems that they might have had it working for them. But Frizzy is going to cut it down just as fast as it got going. Finds two. Game with the absolute disgusting peak on the Rye. And, I mean, that was just absolutely dominant. Just an absolutely disgusting peak, a disgusting shot and Fisher College right now going up 11 to 1 11 to 1 that's not a scoreline you like to look at but it's the it's the reality for the Saints and if they're gonna make this work they're gonna have to focus they're gonna have to pull it all through because I hate to break it to you Patrick sure it's 11 to 1 we're not a match point yet but if the Saints lose this one you can bet they're gonna lose the next so the Saints have to make sure they win this pistol round or it's gonna be a lot scarier to make the following round win. And I think you kind of see that reflecting in the buys coming out from Fisher. They're spending a little bit more than people usually do uh, coming out for pistol rounds. And honestly, the Saints might be as well, not seeing exactly what guns they're gonna be holding, but seeing a deagle from games not fun. Tatum holding down the P20 to P250. 
more buys coming out than usual, and Miggy is going to be the one to fall in that corridor. Rai with the 5-7 as well, a lot more pistol buys than usual. Again, you can see that they're all playing as if this is the final round because it just might be Tatum going to be able to take down Rai. It's just Headshot City. In. It's Headshot City. Ace is going to find another one as well. I mean, Tatum just absolutely amazing. Frizzy able to help him out as well with Robot as well there to get the final three picks. This one is all but over. I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. If I cast like a curse it. it, then, you know, we'll be here for a little while and I'll scream and I'll be all happy. But <laughs> if that is not the case, you have to tip the hat to Fisher College, especially on the side of Tatum going 22-4. and four. This man looks unstoppable right now. And so far, I mean, uh, the, 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 what do I mean so far? This entire game, he's just been on another level. So, uh, again, just such a consistent player with the headshots. He's looking to add a couple more to the caliber, and he's going that to find the pick good. onto Miggy as well. Oh, Petro with one, though, onto Alex. Petro with a second onto Tatum, but the trades come back, and they're on the side of Fisher. Rice with one, but now it's going to be Robo with another. So right now, I believe this is the final player for St. Clair. This is going to be the final player, hope probably for the season, but if he can find the pick, oh. Rye with one. Can he find the second? No, not quite. And it will be game to find the final pick, the final round, and the final round of the season for ECAC as Fisher College are your ECAC CS champions. ECAC champions indeed, and it was an honor to be there for the crowning of them. Unfortunately, the Saints are going to be falling to Fisher College, runner-ups in the ECAC season, but it was still a hell of a series to enjoy, for sure. The Saints, the CS team, all of our teams always put their 100% into every game that they play, and you can really see that reflected sometimes in the stats sometimes just in the soul of the gameplay but always in the hearts of the players you can know for sure that they're bringing their a game but to wrap up today patrick we had valorant and we had a counter-strike two of the more popular tactical shooters coming out so far valorant leading 2-1 against mizu university and saints falling to fisher college in the ecac grand finals right i mean honestly on the side of the valorant team it was a very fun match took st Clair a little bit to lock in after they lost that first map a little bit of bm in map three but you know a little bit of banter going back and forth the lads always love to you know get in each other's faces a little bit but it is going to be our valorant varsity team heading to the finals the Winners grand finals, finals of the CVAL North Division. And on the side of CS, it is going to be Fisher College, who are going to be your ECAC champions, as they deserve, honestly. Tatum and the guys right there just played absolutely lights out. I mean, he looked, honestly, just so unstoppable through any of the games that we were on, honestly. So, again, well-deserved, and, uh, uh, you know... It was just an amazing day, an amazing time, and I'm glad I was able to join you on the desk for this one, Daniil, because this one was an absolute barn burner. Always a pleasure to have you, Chambers. It was a pleasure casting with you this season. Thank you very much for joining me on the desk today. And before we send it off, ladies and gentlemen, of course, after thanking Patrick, I want to thank those in the back. We have Matthias, Amanda, Danners, Aiden, I believe, and I think that might be everybody in the back, and of course I want to thank our sponsors, HyperX, Tim Hortons, Subway, the St. Clair College, SRC, and the St. Clair College Alumni Association, but the action isn't over quite yet tonight, because well, fortunately for our sleep schedules, uh, we're not going to be covering the Call of Duty action, it's going to be covered on the College Cod Twitch channel, so if you type exclamation mark streams in the chat, you will see that channel linked, but we're also going to be rating that channel shortly after, so ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere the action is still going to be continuing just not on our channel but if you are leaving for the night then thank you very much for joining us thank you for supporting our teams thank you for supporting us in everything that we do hope you all have an excellent night and if you're a student make sure you prepare for your exams take care